secret service, entrusted with two of America's most vital policing jobs, the safeguarding of our president and the protection of our currency against counterfeiters, the men of the secret service are frontline soldiers in the never-ending war against crime, standing not only between the chief executive and an assassin's bullet, but between the nation's currency and the vicious criminals who would despoil it, the men of the Secret Service deserve our gratitude as well as our respect. Yet, too often, their reward is death. Fast as a rabbit. We'll get him. I can't hit him from here. Drive up a little closer and I'll stop him with a bullet. Don't shoot your luck. You might kill Severn. He can't do any engraving if he's dead. Turn him off the road. Frisk him. He may have enough. Say, that sounds like gunshots in the road ahead. Yeah, step on it. Get him in the car. Help! 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 Please! Help! Well, those idiots will bump him off and ruin everything. I better go and handle it. Nothing doing. You stay with me. They've had their orders. Step on it. Please ruin our tail. Got a chuck of lead in his back, though. There's two of them in the car. One of them jumped. He's a half a mile away by now. Give me a hand. All right. All right. Come. All right. Push up. We gotta get this man to a doctor. He'll die before we get any information out of him. Okay, we'll take him to the infirmary at the state prison. That's the nearest. Grab hold of his legs, there, will you? Come on. Get up. Get up. That's it. Come on. All right. Continue the pressure and keep me posted. Crimp Evans won't talk. We can't get a full report on what happened till Holt gets here. I hope he got a line on the leader of the mob. Not likely from what he said over the phone. But we have a plan for picking up the trail again. Oh, uh, tell Miss Drew to come in, will you? All right, Miss Drew. Mr. Malloy will see you now. Thank you. I understand you're from the Chicago office. Yes, I flew out. I landed an hour ago. Oh, uh, meet Jim Layden, one of my operators. How do you do? I'm glad to know you, Miss Drew. All the boys will be glad. Your work in the East has been a standout. <laughs> oh, I've just been lucky. Uh, you understand this will be a particularly dangerous assignment. A slight mistake may cost you your life. I'm used to that. I've worked where gun mouths lives aren't worth a dime a dozen. Shoot the works. I'm ready. Thank you. Well, here's the setup. We're up against a criminal wave. Post office stick-ups, bank robberies, and so forth. Last night, John Seven, one of the best engravers in the Treasury Department, was carried off. I see. Going to force him to engrave plates for counterfeit money. That's pretty smart. Simple, too, but not new. If Seven engraves the plates, the phony money will be practically undetectable. As serious as that, huh? Yes. 
The reason the department sent for you is this. The plan we've worked out calls for a woman operative. Now, you never worked in the West. I'll do my best. All right, Severn, down you go. Where are you taking me? What is this place? You'll find out. Get on down. I wouldn't like to finish it here. I'd mess up the scenery. Spike, how long are we supposed to stay here? Until the boss gives us the word. Valen's in there talking to him now. Get this. Crimp Evans and Nick Farrell were run down by the police. Crimp was wounded and captured. Farrell escaped. Has he reported yet? Not yet. He may be wounded and hiding out somewhere. Report to me when the men bring in Severn. All right, boss. We'll keep a close lookout and let you know the minute anything happens. That is all. Here comes the boys and the guy they went after. Well, Tony, if everything goes well, we may have a new workman. A fellow by the name of Nick Farrell. Who is this Nick Farrell the boy speaks of? Anybody know him? No, none of us know him except by reputation. He's been hiding out with uh, Crip Evans after making a break from Leavenworth. How does that, is he? I'm hoping he don't come here. Why put the heat on us? Well, the boss is still the boss. You got him, huh? Where's the other boys? They led the cops off. Is Valden inside? Waiting and anxious. Come on. He don't look like he's so clever. <laughs> Here's your man, Valden. We had a little trouble. All right, all right. I've had a portal and all that. Well, Seven? We know you're one of the best engravers in the government service. You're going to help us make some money that can't be told from the kind Uncle Sam makes. If you obey orders, you won't get hurt. You can't make me turn traitor to my country. You can kill me if you like. Oh, brave guy, eh? Think you can take it. Well, it's not as simple as all that. We have means here of making you do just as you're told. Show him where his workroom is. I won't go, do you hear me? I won't go. Let me out of here. I won't go. Oh. Take him out and tame him. Use a little persuasion. I'll uh, tell the boss he's here. We publicized a yarn that Nick Farrell, a big time crook doing a stretch in Leavenworth, had escaped and was headed west. I see, and your man Holt got in contact with this mob by passing himself off as Farrell. That's right. He hid out with Crimp Evans, got acquainted with a couple of the others of that gang, and was taken in on the grabbing of Severn. We expected they'd take hold of the hideout of the leader of the gang, but... Uh... I know. He bungled the job. Wrong, lady. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I spoke out of turn. I'd have been in their hideout right now if the county police hadn't messed things up. We're going to fix that. And Miss Drew, meet Jack Holt, your future husband. Husband? I don't get it. Maybe I can explain. Nick Farrell, that's me, broke a couple of ribs when he jumped from a car last night. The police are going to pick him up and take him to the prison infirmary, where they're holding Crip Evans. And my ever-loving wife, that's you, going to help spring us. Well, that's a quick romance. How do we work it? Well, the details aren't worked out as yet, but roughly this is the plan. Now, keep both ears open, because we can't afford a slip-up. Nick Farrell, fugitive from Leavenworth. We're holding him here until he's able to travel. He's got a broken something or other. Ah, oh, shut up, chatterbox. All right, I'll find a place for him. Bring him in here. Lay down, you fellas. What's the matter with you? Hop in. Take it easy, you lugs. What are you trying to do, kill me? Pipe down. We don't baby anyone around here. Get into bed and shut up. Okay, okay.
Come on, let's get out of here. You turned out to be. What happened to you? I busted a couple of ribs and I jumped out of the car. The bull picked me up in the drugstore this morning when I was phoning the wife. A wife, huh? That's fine. And you slated to go back to Willowdenworth? Not me. The missus is pulling wires right now to spring me. That's something. How about taking me with you? Not a chance. Be too risky. Look, Nick. Quiet. You'll ruin everything. In case you don't know it. You only speak here when you're spoken to. Okay, brother, I know the rules. Yeah, you know the rules. Hey, Tony, have the boys got the stuff ready yet? Yeah, finished the first batch about an hour ago. Uh, it wasn't as hard to make Seven do his stuff as I thought. Can you blame him? No man could take the working over we gave him. Well, the boss isn't through with him yet. He's got to make some fives and tens, too. I think I'll give him a little sales talk so he doesn't get cold on the idea. and it's all ready, and it's nifty. Well, that's fine. Pack it in here, boys, and make it snappy. Yeah. Now, Severn. Well, Severn, you've done a fine job. It'll take sharp eyes to detect your stuff from the real McCoy. You promised I'd be out of here in a couple of days. It's been two weeks or more. I've lost track of time. When are you going to let me go? Just as soon as you turn out the fives and tens. I've engraved my last plate. Look, Severn, you can't win. Why argue? Remember what happened to you the last time. I'll get back to your press. If his nibs causes you any trouble, refuses to cooperate, work him over again. We will. Hurry back with some good dough. Suitcase. Why, to carry off my winnings, of course. What else? Well, fine, and I hope you fill it. But you'll have to check it with me for now. Oh, okay. Have it ready for me when I leave. Uh, Davis. Go. Seventeen in the black. Seventeen. Uh, Whoever thought of calling me Lucky Arnold? The liar. Too bad, Mr. Arnold. He can't win all the time. Why not? Well, I guess this isn't my night. Ready to go again. Get your best down. Oh, no. Go in your That's pocket. Fine. Let's go. Hello, Chief. You saw Valden? Of course. How's the stuff look? <laughs> Pretty near perfect, I'd say. Hmm. That could pass anybody but an expert and pull some of them. I'll gamble on it. Yeah, but that's a lot of queer money to have to pass out. I have lots of other outlets beside this ship. The racetracks will take care of any surplus. Any more information about this man Farrell? Well, nothing except that the Federal men are waiting for his broken ribs to mend before taking it back. Seems they were pretty close behind him when he landed in town. Hmm, that's too bad. From all accounts, he's a brainy man. We could use him. Tell Valden to get back to the hideout at once. Wait there for orders. I'm anxious for some of those smaller bills. They're easier to pass. Right away, sir. Back it away. My own dog gets better than that. I'm an intern, not a cook. Look, Nick, you gotta take me out of here with you. You ain't got no place to go when the Federals will have you back again in no time. Maybe. But having you with me won't help things any. Sure it will. My mob's got a hideout that's ever been spotted. Yeah? Where is it? I ain't telling you where it is. But you help me and I'll fix it so he won't be caught. I'll think it over and see what I can do. That's a pal. I'll see that you're not sorry. When do you expect the wife? 
Any time now. You better come pretty soon. I can't stall him forever. Come on, come on. What's the stall? I want to see Nick Farrell. We don't allow visitors in the infirmary. It ain't regular. The pass is regular, ain't it? Signed by the warden himself. Come on, do your stuff. All right. I'll take you up. Ed, watch out here. Thanks a lot. Denny! Nick Farrell's mall. Take her in. Mall nothing. Nick Farrell's wife. And don't you forget it. You want to see the certificate? No, I'll take your word for it. My error. Mrs. Farrell. <laughs> you mug. Lay down. Looked like you didn't expect anything. He called you Denny, right? Right. I got a tough grind. I'm on duty till way after 10 o'clock tonight. You want me to weep in the bucket? Take me in. Quiet, you mugs. There's a lady here. A visitor, Farrell. Hi, you big boy. Hello, honey. Don't go too close. You're not going to pass him anything. How could I pass him anything? They frisked me in the warden's office. Listen, Nick, I'm doing everything I can to keep him from sending you back to federal prison. I've been in touch with a lot of big shot politicians. Don't bother with the politicians. I told you to get in touch with the governor. He's been away. I'm going to talk to him by long distance. When? 10 o'clock tonight. 10 sharp. Well, I'll give him a strong line. He's sure to help us. He'd better. Or oh, there'll be a couple of us go back to Leavenworth. Couple, huh? Don't worry, Nick. I'll do the best I can. Anyway, they won't take you away from here till you're feeling better. <laughs> As though they'd consider my feelings. Sorry, lady. Time's up. Oh, but I've hardly spoken to him. That's your hard luck. Come on. Time's up. Okay. Thanks for the lady stuff anyway. You're a gent. Goodbye, Nick. I'll let you know how things go. Just keep in mind, I'm working for you every minute. Okay, kid, you're swell. Well, it's all set. What do you mean, all set? A gangster's mall gonna talk to the governor? Quiet. I tell you, it's all set. You heard what she said. Ten o'clock tonight. Is that what she meant? But you were gonna tell her about me. I told her about you, dope. I said there'd be a couple of passengers, didn't I? Yeah. You're smart, Nick. The chief can use you. Brains are needed in our outfit. And boy, you got plenty. Thanks for the compliment. Now relax until the time comes. What's the matter with you? This thing's a bust. I knew she couldn't make it. Pipe down. We still got four minutes to go. Things go right. What's it now? The wagon's downstairs to transfer Farrell. Did you get the doctor's okay? No. Do I need it? Yes. Go and get it. Ready, Crimp? This is it. I've been ready for hours. Oh. Oh! What's the matter with you? I lost my ribs. Get back in the bed. They're busted again. I can't. I'll help you. Oh.
close. Okay, Mrs. Farrell. Your hubby and his pal are inside, safe as bugs in a rug. That's why you know where to collect for the job. Sure do. Want any more help? No, thanks. Start rolling the minute they're out and disappear. Okay, big boy, out you come, pronto. Hello, honey. You did a swell job. All right, take it away. Come on, Crimp. What's holding you back? See, you must have cut it pretty fine. I heard police sirens just before you drew up. I guess I didn't sock that guard hard enough. He came too soon than I expected. The alarm was on right after we cleared the gates. Break it up, you two. We gotta get moving. Crimp, this is the message. We met. You're a cool one. You can't even say thanks for springing you. I appreciate what you've done, but we gotta get moving. Where are we? Heading east, a mile or so from San Marcos Pike. Well, springing you was my job. Now it's up to you guys. Where do we go from here? Crap, you're the doctor from now on. Where's that famous hideout of yours? I'll take you there, but I'm doing the driving. Can you beat that? He don't trust us after all we've done for him. Mrs. Farrell, I don't trust nobody. If I was to bring the wrong guy into that hideout, my life wouldn't be worth a nickel. He's right, honey. Let's go. Fair enough. Let's. Me are going on. The missus turns back here. She can have the car. What do you mean she turns back? Why, there's any leak in this job, she'll get a 10 year stretch and let her come this far. Sure. To avoid a chance of her being picked up before we were in the clear. I take enough chance taking you with me, but not the dame. They knocked me off and her too. Well, then I. He's right. It's better that way. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Beat it. Okay. I was afraid of that. Read this note when you get a chance. All right. Fine, Nick. Take care of yourself. I'll get in touch with you as soon as the heat's off. Right. Canoe in fast water? Well, enough. How fast is it? Plenty. There's a waterfall downstream a ways. You got a portage around it. That's how we get to the hideout. Okay. talking about. Don't worry, we're coming to it. Cross and wife of yours thought you'd trick me. Well, you're gonna get yours now. Head for the shore, stool pigeon.
the most dangerous man in the gang. What has he seen? Who is he shooting at? And what about Kay? Can she escape his evil clutches? Don't miss Ramparts of Revenge, next week's exciting chapter of Holt of the Secret Service. service goes into action. Final results are certain, yet constant danger and death face the government men. Can Jack Holt live through to the finish? He's exposed himself to the underworld, disguised as ex-convict Nick Farrell. He's laid plans to capture a gang of counterfeiters, but is suddenly discovered. So, you and that double-crossing wife of yours thought you tricked me. Well, you're gonna get yours now. Head for the shore, stool pigeon. What happened to Crip Evans? No, as far as I could see, he never came up. How are we going to find the gang's hat out now? We'll have to wait till daybreak, and then try and locate it. And if we do, I'll send you back to the department with a message. That sounds easy. Let's hope it will be. In the meantime, i got to find a place and try these clothes. All right, they shoot first and identify you afterwards. What's Blocky shooting at? I don't know. Get valid. Keep him busy. I'll get him. Valid? Blocky is signaling from the hill. Right now, I'm taking a message from the boss. Check. Well, the boss says Evans and Farrell broke jail. They'll probably head here. Well, let's see who Blackie's shooting at. It may be them. Blackie's shooting his head off. Yeah, he must have spotted him. Yeah, but that's too many shots for a signal. Get up there and find out. Blackie might kill him by mistake. I'm glad you came. This bird was getting a little tough, so I had to trim his wings. Come on in, Kay. He's tamed. Boy, what a reception. Who's this? That's my wife. She sprung us out of jail. Huh. Where's Crimp? 
He drowned when our canoe upset. I couldn't handle both of them. How do we know this is straight? It's straight, all right. Valden got word from the boss about the escape. Do we go on, or do we stay here and gas? I don't know about her. The boss don't like women. Yeah, what kind of a guy is he? Quiet, kid. Either she goes on, or I don't. That suits me. I don't aim to suit you, Lug. You don't mean anything to me at all. Well, let's go. I'll explain why she's here. If it wasn't for her, we'd still be in the lockup. Yeah, Crump would still be alive. What do you mean ah, by that? Cut it out. Get back to your station, Blackie. Okay, Nick. All right. Careful, lady. There's some drop down there. Well, that ain't Crimp with Farrell. Huh. It's a girl. Things are picking up. Yeah, you're crazy. You know how the boss feels. No matter how he feels, I'm saying it's a girl and a good looker, too. I'm afraid you're right, Tony. That means trouble. Get back there and let me greet them. This is Nick Fowl and his wife. How are you? Hi. Right. You're getting careless, aren't you? You know the boss's orders about women? Don't blame him. I took over. Say, who are you anyway? I'm Valden, in charge here. Come inside. You'll meet the boys later. Well, here we are. <coughs> Make yourselves at home. Oh, are my dogs barking. Nice little hideout you got here. What happened to that engraver we grabbed? Well, he's safe. We've got him over in the mine doing his stuff. Now let's have your story. You know, I've seen that guy someplace. Oh, don't bother about him. Say, he's got a nifty wife. Oh, watch her step. Don't worry. Well, I guess I better get back to work. There you have it. We're lucky to be here. <laughs> From the looks of this joint, Crimp is the lucky Oh, one. shut up, will you? Frankly, Farrell, no offense, man. I don't like the idea of your wife being here. Well, that's a hot one. Well, where else could she go? The cops knew that she sprung us. Well, they'd get her and give her the works. Look, being here is no idea of mine. I know a lot of places I'd rather be. You're lucky to be alive. Quit your squawking, will you? If I'd known you were going to bring me to a dump like this, I'd let you stay in jail. You promised me swell clothes and night spots, and look what I get a dump like this. You don't like that trap of yours, I'll shut it for you. Come on and try it. I dare you. Cut it out, both of you. See why I don't like women around? They make trouble out of nothing. Never mind, I can handle her. Says you. Now get a load of this, wise guy. I'm ready to leave here right now. You get me a guide and I'll scram, and the sooner the better. Get her a guide and let her scram. I'll spend the rest of my life in the pen rather than being around her. Farrell, I make the decisions around here. Now that she's here, she'd better stay. There's a cabin across the way she can use. You can bunk with the boys. Well, I'm not staying. I don't like the company. That goes for you and you and the rest of the mob I've met. You'll stay, nevertheless. And I'll see that the company doesn't bother you. You better do what he tells you. And keep that lip of yours buttoned up, or I'll knock your silly block off. Come on, I'll show you to your cabin. All right, but only because I have to. I don't like Farrell's story about what happened to Crimp Evans. Yeah, it sounds fishy to me. Crimp was a good swimmer. How come he drowned and Farrell and his woman escape? I mean to ask him. Look out, Tony. The guy is dangerous. Don't start anything you can't finish. There you are, Mrs. Farrell. It's all yours. Thanks, mister. You're generous. Send me some chow. So long, ungrateful, and don't come knocking at my door, because I'm home to no one. Good. Sometimes I wonder why I ever got married. I should have stayed in jail. Come on and meet the rest of the boys. Boys, this is Mick Farrell. He's joining us for a time. Hi, you Farrell. Hi. Well, I guess I'll go over and see how my wife's getting along. You better not. Don't worry. I know her. I thought you were going to ask him. Hey, Farrell, just a minute. We want to know just how Crimp Evans got drowned. I just told Valden. I ain't explaining to you. Well, you'll explain to me and like it. 
Don't shoot, Farrell. Keep out of this, Farrell. I want to show these birds that I'm to be respected. Oh, my whole day's work shot. <laughs> you can't help but show off, can you? Well, don't sell me nothing. You're still a bust. Be careful how you play with those things. You fool, you. I told you he was tough. I know that guy from someplace. If I could only remember names. I'll find out through that wife of his. Who are you? Listen, Severance, I've got a lot to talk about, not much time. I'm Holt of the Secret Service, working with this gang under the name of Nick Farrell. How do I know who you are? I can prove it by giving you a code number, X524. Right. Now, you do the listening, and I'll do the talking. I heard you was hungry, so I brought you a little snack. Thanks, big boy. Small favors, gratefully received. Tell me, is Fallon the head man? No. I think the big boss is in the city. Alden takes the money there. Oh. Well, I've got to get that word somehow to the department. But get me away from here. They beat me terribly. Forced me to make those plates. I'll do what I can when I can, but we're both in a tough spot. Now, you do anything that they tell you. Work, but work slowly. I'll do the best I can to protect you. Thanks. Thanks. I've met that husband of yours somewheres, but it eludes me. Where does he hang out? Nick's brother. All talk comes from him. Our quarrel is private. Get it? Okay. Just wanted to help. Yeah, thanks a lot. You're a brave man, Tony. If Farrell saw you come out of there, he'd rub you out. Well, he didn't see me. I mean to place that guy. I won't rest until I do. All right. I warned you. Go away. I don't want to buy nothing. Everything all right, wife of mine? No, it's not. I want to get away from here, and I don't mean maybe. It's all right, Kay. We're in the clear. Listen. This guy, Black, he's got possibilities. He's plenty dumb. We'll concentrate on him. I'll start a scrap, and you work on him. Have you got it? I tell you, I saw him go in there. All right, you stay here. I'll find out what's up. All right, Jack, I'll do my part. Look out. Scram, Nick, and stay away from here. The boss told me I wouldn't be bothered. I don't care what the boss told you. I'll come in here anytime hey, I right. want. Nick, why rile her up? Leave her alone. Well, then that goes for everybody, including you. But just remember this. You watch your step, because I got my eyes open. All oh, right, I'm down. Getting head up won't help any. Well, it helps me. I'll get you out of here as soon as the heat's off. Well, the sooner the better. I crave excitement. There's none around here, that's certain. Uh, don't be too sure. The wife of yours craves excitement. Yeah, and I'm going to see that she's not going to get it. You know, Valen's pulling a lot for Bloomer by letting him stay here. But they're both hot in a forest fire. Ah, oh, come on. But what do you do? Two diamonds. Pairs. Oh, speak of the devil. Why don't you join the game, Farrell? They still have some good money. All right. What's the matter with you, sore puss? Still sore at us being around here? Yeah, plenty sore. Well, why don't you start something? I'd love to mush you up. I don't like that pan of yours anyway. Yeah, no trouble, fellas. <laughs> there won't be any trouble, Valden. I could take care of six apes like him any day. You're taking in a lot of territory, ain't you, Farrell? Not more than I can handle. We'll find out. Thank you. 
Surely you haven't had enough. You brute, you. Well, if you fellas haven't had enough, I'm still paying off. What do you want to do? Kill him? He's badly hurt now. Why don't you guys help him? Why should they? You doing all right, ain't you? You better get him out of here. I still don't like his pants. Now I'm sure I've seen you someplace before. Recognize my style, eh? Well, I've been around a bit. This won't do, Farrell. Seems to me you're going out of your way to make trouble. Maybe so. I always was hard to get along with. Well, I'm gonna go out and get a little air. Let you guys talk about me. And maybe you can make up your mind where you saw me. You got a tough break. You took a beating and now Valden will probably bore you out for fighting. Why don't you ditch this mob? With your brains, you could go places. That's right. If I had a chance. There's nothing here for you or me either. I want to get away. Would you go with me? What do you think? We're as good as gone. I'll tell you how later. Adding nursing to the rest of your accomplishments? If you never speak to me again, it's soon enough, you big gorilla. Listen. Don't let that mercy stuff get you in trouble. Remember, I'm warning you. <laughs> you better watch your help, Falden. See us. He's terribly jealous. What's your plan? I'll fix it with Spike to take his place on the last watch. I'll meet you on the cliff then. Right, just before sunup. and make your act good. A lot depends on it. Nothing to worry about. They don't suspect a thing. Blackie was a cinch. So it's the old double cross, is it? I should have known better to trust a doll. So what? So we're going down below and have a good old-fashioned powwow. Get going. And no funny stuff. All right, down you go. I'll signal them to meet you. I told you to watch him. source of the counterfeit money. Will the Secret Service be able to destroy this wicked den? And why have the counterfeiters imprisoned Kay? Will that message they struggle for disclose her identity? Don't fail to see illicit wealth. Next revealing chapter of Hope of the Secret Service.
Secret Service turns on the heat. The government men will finally win out, but at a cost of many lives. Will Jack Holt come through? He's posed as ex-convict Nick Farrell to capture a band of counterfeiters. While he and his partner, Kay Drew, are in the gangster headquarters, they're discovered. Nothing to worry about. They don't suspect a thing. Blackie was a cinch. So it's the old double cross, is it? I should have known better than trust at all. So what? So we're going down below and have a good old-fashioned powwow. Get going. I know funny stuff. All right, down you go. I'll signal them to meet you. I told you to watch him. See if they're both dead. Tony, you come with me. Well, you're the cause of all this, huh? Why blame me? Nick and Blackie had a fight, that's all, and they did a header over the cliff. Uh, you're a cool one. Fighting over you, I suppose. Nobody else, mister. The saps. Are they searching for him? Yeah. This is a fine kettle of fish. They're dead, of course. Not Nick. He's got more lives than a cat. He's right, Valden. And I'm gonna need them all. Hitched to a woman like that. See there? What did I tell you? That's the kind of a wife to have. She's gonna take a walkout powder with Blackie. I have a good mind to throw you off this cliff. Go on, try it. I did. Oh, well, cut it out. There he is, poor old Blackie. He's as dead as a mackerel. What we do? Let him alone. Dalton will tell us how to handle it. Let him do it. Well, at least we can pick him up. Nick, you're in a jam. We might have to explain Blackie's death of the big boss. Well, it explains itself. He started to break up my home, and I caught him at it. He tried to make a getaway and fell off the cliff. Why, well, it's an accident, that's all. Accident, my eye. You hit him on the button and knocked him over. Oh, I've got a lot of things to tell when I get away. From now on, you're staying in your cabin. Take her down, Tony. You better take a tight hold, too, Tony. Don't fall for that line of hers. Remember what happened to Blackie. The LN calling station R49. The LN calling station R49. Come in, R49. Come in, VLN. Blackie had an accident. Fell over a cliff. He's dead. What'll we do? If he's dead, bury him, of course, and forget it. I'm not interested in that. What about the job? Work all finished and ready for delivery. What are your orders? Bring it to the usual place. Everything quiet out there? It is now. The girl tried to get away, but Farrell stopped her. He's plenty tough. Watch out she doesn't find out too much. Don't worry, boss. I'm keeping a close watch over her. Anything else? That is all. Spike, I have to go into town. See that the steady watch is kept over that girl's cabin. Well, now to C-7, get the stuff and start on my way. We'll soon be rich, old man. The sooner the quicker is my motto. Oh, boy. What do you got a minute? Valden's on his way for the bills. Where are the plate? I'm sure they're in there someplace, because Valden says he's going to run another batch from them. Good, I'll grab them then. That's all the government cares about. They'll handle this runoff. In the meantime... Valden's coming! If he finds you here... No, oh, but this is the only way out. That door's locked. Got everything there? Everything you ordered. Fine. Where's that suitcase I left here? I don't know anything about any suitcase. You didn't bring it here. I didn't bring it here. Oh, I remember. I put it in there myself.
Good-looking money, Severin. You're a whiz. Now get busy on that other job, the fives and tens. You don't want to repeat the little ritual that made you consent to do our first job. I know. I'm helpless. I'll do as you say. I thought he'd find you sure. Well, he didn't, so he can live a little longer. I'll be back later. I gotta find out how Valden leaves this place. Spike has his instructions, and you're taking orders from him until I get back. See that nobody follows me. Don't worry, nobody will get by me. Where do you think you're going, Farrell? Why, no place in particular, just taking my daily exercise. Well, you'll have to try someplace else. You can't go beyond this point. It's taboo. Okay, okay, I'll go back to camp. I don't want to break any rules. But if I did want to go down there, you'd never stop me. And I'm saying I would. You may be tough to those other guys, but I think I'm tougher. Well, well, so you want to make an issue out of it, eh? Well, how's this for a starter? Oh. Why do I take my coat off? Oh, so you want to play rough, huh? Okay. Tony. Well, Tony, you seeing believing? You win, Farrell. I guess I ain't as tough as I thought. Wrong again. I was a little tougher than you thought. No hard feelings. on your next order already. Good. Sit down and give me the details of that trouble last night. What's the lowdown on Blackie? Falvin just arrived with a load of it. I hope it's as good as the last. It's a cinch. The boss is looking it over now. So no real harm was done except Blackie got his full neck broken. That woman will disrupt everything. Get rid of her. I don't dare turn her loose now. I didn't say turn her loose. I said get rid of her. Isn't that clear enough? Yes, yes, sure, sure, anything you say. What's the matter with Farrell? Too good to eat with us? Oh, he said he wasn't hungry. I think he's love sick and sore because he can't see that wife of his. He wanted to take a tray over to her. Got sore when I let Carew have the job. So you decided to feed me, huh? I'm taking no credit. Your sap husband sent it over. I'd let you starve to death for what happened to my pal, Blackie. Well, that's just dandy. Where's your chivalry? I ain't got none where you're concerned. Well? Boy, 
what? She didn't even thank me. She bawled me out. I'll say it for her. Thanks. Keep it. Carew at last! Ah! Well, I just took her a chow. She's a pretty one at that. Took you long enough to get here. Don't worry. I don't forget what happened to Blackie. The funny thing is, that name Farrell don't fit in my memory. Come on, fellas. Clear up the tape. Not yeah. me. It's my night off. Well, come on. The rest of you get busy here. Okay. Haven't you got it yet? Not yet, but I'll get it. Give it to me. You're an engraver, not a locksmith. What's the matter? Don't you like our food? No, I feed my dog better than that. Well, I can't say that I blame you. I've had lots better myself. Don't take it away. I might get hungry later. Nothing doing. Hey, why change your mind so sudden? Well, leave the bread anyway. A message, huh? I wondered why Farrell made such a fuss about getting this chow over to you. Let me see it. No. Remember what I told you. Stall as long as you can to give Kay time to get to that radio. Take this in case you need it. I'll give him a good chase. All right. Hey, that shot sounded like a cape from the girl's cabin. Crew sneaked over there and the girl got his gun away from him. The cabin's quiet enough. There it is again. It came from the mine. Who fired those shots? I did. What happened? Well, I came in here to get severance dishes. When I turned my back, he hit me over the head of the wrench. Where is he? He went in there. The fool can't get away. We'll drag him out. Come on. We'll separate. You boys take that tunnel, Nick. You take this one. Calling headquarters, 6X241. Come in. Headquarters, 6X241 answering. Come in. This is operative B12, calling from Seco Hills. Farrell and I are on the spot. Need help. Listen closely. Place hard to find. I'll give you the best directions I can. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This thing are running around underground. If we don't look out, we both be lost. Oh, come on, Nick. We've got to get him. If we don't, the boss will murder us. All right. Wait on. I'm going to murder you for what you did to me. No, Nick. We need him. All right. All right. Come on. Let's get him out. You sent for me, sir? Yes. Get your men and start for the Seco Hills at once. These are the best directions operator B-12 will give us. I'll have cars waiting in front. Get going. Yes, sir. Give me the garage. We'll never make it before daylight. Keep your foot to the floor and we'll make it. It's not as far as you think. Radio. Not me. Ballin ain't here. Oh, pipe down. If he'd gotten away, Ballin would have murdered us. What's the difference? You'll all hang anyhow. Quiet. I'd hate to muss up those pretty hands of yours. Farrell, I got your number. Well, if you have, give me a ring sometime. Read this, Spike. A message he smuggled to his wife. Ah. Pretty smart for a cop. A copper? Now I remember. He's Jack Holt. A federal dick. He run me ragged. What? Well, there won't be any running from now on. Don't reach for it, or I'll let you have it. Severance, you're coming with me. Get out.
The girl is gone. Impossible. Get that light. Quick, we can't let them get away now. They won't get away. I'll fix them. Give me your gun. Wait up. break. Will she escape from the murderous counterfeiters? Have they a plan to catch her? And what about Crimp? He's planned a double cross, and someone's going to suffer. See it all in Menace by Fate, next smashing episode of Holt of the Secret Service. face the men of the Secret Service. Crime is rampant. Can Jack Holt escape the hand of doom? He's posing as ex-convict Nick Farrell to catch a gang of counterfeiters. He and his partner, Kay Drew, try to contact department headquarters by radio, but they're discovered. Give me your gun and take cover. If she reaches the road, we're sunk. Right, that's where she'd head for. Get after her. They're after her. I've got to head her off. Get back in that cave. You're safe. They think you're dead. She goes. I'll stop her. Now that we've got her, what do we do with her? Why ask me? Don't look at me. Somebody's got to make a decision. Oh, cut it out. Get it back to the cabin and use the radio. Good idea. I 
Drop those guns, boys, if you want to live. Leave the girl alone. Get over there in the huddle. Well, you thought I was done for, eh? Well, I'm going to fool you. I'm very much alive. I'm going to take you with me. Look out, Nick! Well, Jimmy just about made it. Well, you scared me to death. Cut for more, boys. Take no chances. Thanks, Jim. Is that the lot of them? No, they don't mean a thing. The important thing is to keep them incommunicado. Get them out of the state so I can contact Valden. We haven't any case until we get the head man. We'll get you for this, Holt. Mark my word. Take him to the car. You double crosser. Jim, we'll go and get Severn. And while we're there, we'll wreck that counterfeiting plant and also their convenient radio. And John Malloy of the Secret Service states that the raid resulted when Charles Severn, held prisoner by the criminals, escaped them long enough to send a shortwave radio message that was picked up by a government station. That's a fine thing. It couldn't be helped. Nick Farrell, notorious racketeer, was the only one of the gang to make his escape. Farrell is believed to have the counterfeit plates in his possession. Uh, shove it off. Which one of your bungling gangsters let Severn escape? I don't know. I was on my way back there when it happened. All I know, the plant is destroyed. No sign of anyone. If there's any slip up, I'm through. Don't worry. All the prisoners are on their way out of the state. With Crimp Evans dead and all the others that know you locked up, well, you can safely contact Valden. And then what? Through Valden, I'll reach the head man. That's the one we're after. It's no use fooling with a small fry. As soon as we get him, our case is closed. Say, wait a minute. Send for the boys. I've got an idea. Send in Layden and Frank. Boy, that dirty double-crossing hijacker. So that's his game, huh? What's biting you now? Nick Farrell. He's the guy I was telling you about. Helped me break jail, then try to drown me in the river. Now he's on the loose with the boss's money plates. Read it! Well, I thought you said he was a fed. Him and that girl that was with him. Yeah, I thought so, but I'm not so sure now. He got the place, that's a cinch. If he were a government man, he would have turned them in. He's going to use them himself, that's what. And he's going to cop me in. I'm going to tell him so. How are you going to tell him? The police can't find him and the feds can't find him. Oh, for the all right. Want me to go with you? No, stay where you are. That's the place, all right. Shorty's Cafe. Now keep your eyes open. If you see me come out with anybody, follow us. Let me go with you, Jack. Be reasonable, Kay. I'll tackle this alone. You've got plenty to do. Just have patience.
don't care what Jack said. I think we ought to go in. He's been in there too long. Patience, Kay. Look. Nice work, Shorty. Where is he? Sitting peacefully in my back room, like I said. Remember, boys, I'll do all the talking. Right. Valen, how'd you know I was here? Oh, I have ways of learning things. Glad they didn't get you, Nick. Yeah, so am I. Boys, this is Nick Farrell, one of the best. And one of the toughest. So don't start anything. All right, now, just take it easy, Nick. Tell me what happened out there at the hideout. Well, Severin slipped one over on us. Tony and Spike were supposed to be watching. Without any warning, the government men were on us. While they were battling, I smashed the plant. And believe me, they haven't got anything on those boys. As soon as we get our hand on some corn, we can spring them. Uh, a little shot, huh? No, 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 wait a minute, Dick. You've had enough. That's all I know about it. When I saw we couldn't hold that fizz off, I scrammed out of there. And took the plates with you. That was mighty smart. I'll say it was. Nick's a mighty smart fella. Crip! Hello, Valen. We thought you were dead. Why, Crippy, old boy, I thought you were drowned. I never expected I'll I to see you. Yet. I swallowed enough water to sink a battleship. An old prospector fished me out of the river and doctored me up. Just got in town today. You sure was lucky, weren't you, Crippy? Yeah, you and me both. Say, I was reading about you in the papers. What about them plates? Oh, oh, you mustn't, you mustn't believe what you're reading in the paper, Kirby. But uh, if I did have the plates, they certainly be worth a lot of money. How about it, Valen? Oh, so that's it. Well, name your price, Farrell. Oh, no, no, no. I only talk with a boss, and Valen, that ain't you. I see. You got us behind the eight ball, Nick. Meet me tonight at Selby's Roadhouse at 10 o'clock, and I'll take you to the big boss. Well, you better put it down, because I'll, I'll never remember that. Well, on my way, man. Nick, you and I got to talk about that canoe trip. Sure, Kirby, I'd love to see it. I'm just serves the heat, so. Hi, uh, have you on? Oh, yeah. Some of the roadhouse, since you. I don't admit to having anything. But I might be able to... Oh, uh, can it, I understand. Just be there at 10 o'clock sharp. I'll be there at 10 sharp. When they get the signal, come in. Nick, you and me are going to have a showdown. Why, Cribby, what, what do you want? Now, that's talking. I can explain what Never you... mind what you did to me. I want those plates. Oh, you do, eh? So you fell for it, too. You thought I was drunk. You thought you'd come in and get me. Well, you'll never get the plates. That shot came from in there. Do something, Jim. I'll call the police. I'll use the radio. The government mustn't be connected with this. Calling police broadcast. <laughs> The police are on their way. I'll get over there just in case. I'll get to the car. You stall the police. Right. I'd be here tonight. You seem to be a little nervous. You wouldn't try to pull anything, would you, pal? With you holding the plate, that'd be silly. Forget I said it. 
Hello, Tick. Got a quiet room where we can talk? Yes, sir, Mr. Bowden. Tick number seven. All right, see that we're not disturbed. you've got here. Funny I haven't run onto it before. And nobody gets in here unless we know him. Can order you a drink? Not now, but later. I never drink when I'm working. Come on, quit the stall. Where is the big shot? Well, he'll be here. He's a busy man. Yeah? Well, so am I a busy man. And don't forget this. He needs me more than I need him. All right, all right, Nick. Have a little patience. Hey, we're not too late, are we? No, they just arrived a few minutes ago. Think we ought to crash in? Oh, no, to jump the gun would ruin things. Jack will signal as soon as he contacts the head man. Come on, Valden. I've waited long enough. Either you produce the boss or I'm getting out of here. Come in. The boss has been looking you over and listening to you ever since we came in. Oh, I see. Monkey business. So I've been on exhibition all the time, eh? Well, where do we go from here? Follow me. Well, then take my car and come back for yours. Wait a minute. I don't like this running around blind. It ain't cricket for guys in our business. Well, you're not backing out now, are you? You said yourself the boss needs you. Of course, if you're afraid. Afraid? You're with me, ain't you? Any funny business would be your funeral. Did you get that? He wants you to follow him. Yeah. Eyes front, you two, or I'll drill you. You're taking me with you. Step on it, Valen, and don't make any mistakes. Come on, Joe! Mall as sure as fate. We better get after her. We're not gaining a bit. Can't you get something more out of this crate? You double crosser. I'll take care of you for this, that's certain. This isn't my work, honest. Crimp's on his own. A boss will kill you for this, Crimp. Blow your trap and step on it. And don't turn around or I'll drill you. Make him step on it, Crimp. That car's gaining on it. Trap on it, Alan. I can't go any faster on this road. We'll be killed. It's better than the electric chair. Step on it. are worth a fortune. Will Crimp and his men be able to get them? And what is this that Jim Layton has discovered? Will his captive lead him to the chief of the gang? 
See what happens in Exits to Terror, next thrill-laden chapter of Holt of the Secret Service. Secret Service strikes deep into the underworld. A cleanup is certain, but the nation's lords of crime strike back with death and destruction. Can Jack Holt stay free of the deadly hand of fate? He poses as ex-convict Nick Farrell and attempts to meet the king of the counterfeit ring. Chance intervenes. He is suddenly discovered. I'm wounded. Get away while you can. I never deserted a pal, and I'm not starting now. Come on. They can never get out of that. They are done for. All right, boys, get down there and check up. See who's up there. Then follow me. I'm going to get their car and get out of here. Just as I thought. There's nothing we can do. Point to a crisp. Jim, quick, come over here. Careful, we're being watched. We've got to go into our act. Drop that gun, copper. <laughs> Becoming a government man isn't so hot. You telling me? I'm hotter than a firecracker. I'm fading out right away. The boss has got a good hideout. A pip. Yeah? Where is it? Spill it and I'll head for it. First head for Pier 13. He had a plan in mind, but didn't have time to let me in on it. Okay, you're just in time. I can use you. What happened? Where's Jack? He faked shooting me to get away with Valden. We'll trail him in your car. Right. Why, well, it's a slow Nick. Step on it. We're not in the clear yet. Now some wise copper pick us up. Don't be silly. We'll make it. Took you long enough to get here. Well, we got here as soon as we could. Shut up and get going! Following us, Nick, speed her up. Nothing doing. But we gotta lose him. We lose him, all right. Before we hit Pier 13. Funny he doesn't speed up. He's driving slow for some purpose, I guess. Look at that stoplight. 
He's flashing a message. I wish you'd step on it, Nick. Shut up, Alan. I know what I'm doing. He's signaling Morse code. P I E R one three. Pier 13. Nice going, Jack. That's all we need to know. Turn off the first chance you get. That might fool about it. It's all right, Nick. I did a lot of worrying for nothing. That car wasn't following us after all. <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. Now I'll show you some real speed. There's your Pier 13. Now what? I should have remembered. That's where the water taxis leave for the gambling ship. Shall we go out on it? Valden would spot you, although he doesn't know me. I'll phone the chief for orders. You stay here in the car. What a break. There's Farrell's wife. Alone, too. She may know where the plates are. Let's grab her. speaking. 672? Go ahead, 672. Give me your report. Yeah. You're right. I've got it. Yeah, we'll take care of the girl angle from here. They won't harm her. You go out to the gambling ship and cover Holt, if he's there. That's all. The board, isn't he? Yeah, he's in the office. Oh, what's the trouble? Uh, just a little accident. Doesn't amount to much. All right, Nick, follow me. This is it. Go in there and clean up. I'll fix it for you to see the boss. Oh, he's particular, huh? All right, I'll clean up. All right, go. excited workers. Hello, Mr. Arnold. Baldwin is here. Where's Farrell? In the cabin cleaning up. We had a brush with the federal men after Crip tried to hijack us. Farrell bumped off one of the feds so we could make a getaway and I got nicked in the shoulder. Farrell's a fool. Shooting a government man isn't anything to brag about. They'll never let up on him now. But he had to do it. They'd have grabbed both of us. Shut up. I've decided not to meet him. Brought him here to meet you. He'll get sore. He'll never know the difference. You introduce him to Quist and let him believe that he's the head of our organization. Now get out of that coat and let Quist dock you up. You can tell me all about it. Everything. Are you there, Farrell? I am to my friend. Ah, we're all friends here. It ain't healthy for enemies. You! Oh, hello, Dixon. Did you break out or were you parole? What difference does it make? What a break. Wait till I tell the boss that Holt of the Secret Service is on board. Davis, remember, from now on, Quist is the boss. I'm going for Farrell now. I get it. Aren't you ready? I sent Dixon after you. Who's Dixon? One of the boys. Didn't he show up? No. Well, let's get going. The boss is waiting for well, you. Well, I gotta get cleaned up. I gotta be pretty when I meet the big shot. Well, all right, hurry it up. I'll meet you in the gambling room. All right. Good evening. Glad to see you. Hope you have a little luck there. Good evening. Hurry that boat ashore. There's a lot of people waiting. All right, cast off right away. Lefty, I'm expecting Nick Farrell. When he comes in, tell him I'm at the bar. Right. Miss 
understand. you have our plates. Your plates? <laughs> I'm not admitting to anything. But suppose I have. Well, what price are you asking for? Them? Oh, I'd say offhand about a million bucks in Uncle Sam's money. A million dollars? You're crazy out of your mind. I'm not crazy. You're the one that's crazy. I've got the plates and you've got the means to use them. So suppose we start a partnership, 50-50, and that only calls for a one-word answer, yes or no. But well, don't be hasty about it. Take your time. But well, whatever you do decide, be final with me. Well, what happened to you, pal? <laughs> Take it easy. I'll get you out of this. Farrell, you're asking a lot. Can't you do a little better? Why should I? I'm in a good spot and I know it. Who did this? A Secret Service, Nick. Hold. He's on board. A Secret Service man on board? Well, that means the boss and all of us are sunk. Oh, no, it don't. I'm going to knock that bird off. Huh? Listen, we got to keep this quiet. The boss don't like trouble. Can't afford it. He'll have plenty of trouble with Hold on board. He's an ace operator. I'll stop him. Oh, take it easy. Take it easy. We'll find him, get him away from the crowd, and finish him right. But better let me do it. Uh, you stay here. I'm finding him myself. All right. All right. All I ask you to do is point him out, then I'll get him out on deck some way, and it'll be all up to you. You'll have the whole Pacific to operate in, and you won't ruin the boss's setup. All right. Maybe that is a better idea. Oh, remember, I'm finishing him myself. All right, all right. Oh, Farrell, we'd like to talk this over alone. Do you mind? Certainly not. Take your time. I've got plenty of it. Yeah, but don't leave the ship. You couldn't run me off this ship. I only wish this tub was a few miles farther out. I wouldn't be so jittery. You heard? Certainly. He's a cool one. So since he has us stopped, we do him in, we'll never get the plates, and he knows it. Well, then what do we do? I'll thank him. Well, if he's hurt. Water. Water? Yeah, didn't you ever hear of it? You rank it in a lot of it. Yes. There he is. I'll take it easy. Go on. I'll bring him out to you, I promise. You'd better. Remember me? Well, yeah. You're the man I bumped into. Well, did it bring you any luck? Plenty. And all bad. They do say a couple of turns around the deck changes your luck. I'll try anything once. Will you join me? You bet. Davis, lend me your gun. What do you want a gun for? Never mind. Give it to me. There wasn't a chance to get him ashore. I stalled him. He thinks I'm one of the gang. I had to promise to turn you over to him. Hmm. He's 
start something now that'll ruin everything. We'll have to go into our act. Wait a minute. What's this big secret you have? If you can't tell it to me here, I don't want to hear it. Don't stop here. I want to show you something. Remember me, Holt? Oh, I see. You and he are buddies. So I fell for an old one. Yeah, and how? Frisk him, pal. See if he's got a gun somewhere. Not a thing, pal. Clean as a whistle. He's all yours. Surprised, ain't you, Holt? Didn't think I'd get you so soon. Quit slapping yourself on the back and finish what you started. What are you two going to do? I ought to finish it here, but I got a better idea. I'm going to take you to the boss. Tell him who you are. He'll handle you. Well, that'll be just swell. And I'll cause a riot in your gambling room that'll please your boss. And he'll cut your ears off. He's right, pal. Better let me bring the boss up here. All right, get at it. Looks like we're gonna have quite a wait. You mind if I sit down? I don't care what you do. If you jump the rail, I'd still plug you. Thanks. Crimp Evans be able to learn her secret? How can she warn the Secret Service? And what about the missing plates? Will these men ever find them? You'll learn the answers in Deadly Doom, next gripping chapter of Holt of the Secret Service. Secret Service pulls no punches, yet the underworld is strong and deadly. Can Jack Holt escape its fury? He posed as ex-convict Nick Farrell to capture a band of counterfeiters. He goes aboard their gambling ship headquarters, and while there, is suddenly discovered. Looks like we're gonna have quite a wait. You mind if I sit down? I don't care what you do. If you jump the rail, I'd still plug you. him. 
I think he's done for. We've got to do something quick. Those men are right behind me. Now, here they come now. Well, get out of sight. Get those boxes out of there. What happened here, Farrell? A fight. He jumped me, and like a sap, I let him get a hold of me, and over we came. Well, who is he? How do I know? He's well, of my men. His name is Dixon. Bowden. Bowden. Uh, See what he's trying to say. What is it, Dixon? Gosh, Felton. It's a federal dick on board. Yes? Who is it? His name. His name is. is. <sighs> speak, man. Speak. Make him talk. Make him talk. He's gone. He said there was a federal dick on board. I wonder who he meant. Well, why look at me? Because you're the one he tackled. Wait! I'm the man he was talking about. All right, Farrell, your game is up. I'm taking this man. He's wanted by the government. Dixon was my stooge. He was helping me set a trap to get Farrell. He evidently got wise and tried to knock him off. Looks like I did a pretty good job of it, too, the stool pigeon. Come on, Farrell, get up this ladder. Hurry up, hurry up. But officer, stay where you are. You're in trouble enough now for harboring a wanted man. He's right, I know what I'm like. No use getting in any deeper. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. All right, now what? On the upper deck, fast. What'll we do, Quist? That federal man might ruin us. Stop him, of course. If Farrell talks, we're sunk. The plate's gone forever. Get after him. It's a hot spot, Jack. He'll be after us in a minute. I know it. We gotta fool him. Wait a minute. Here, get in this boat. I'll take care of the rest. Let me have your hat. Where are they? Fighting on the upper deck. Sunk like a rock. What's that? Why, his hat. What do you think it was? Well, that settles that. There's nothing we can do about it. What about that double cross at Dixon? He's pulled his last double cross. He never came to again. Say, if there are any other double crosses aboard this tub, I might just as well take care of them now. Now, don't get excited, Farrell. We'll protect you. Dixon was money mad, I guess, after the reward on your head. What are you going to do with him? Eh, give him a sea burial later on so he can be with his pal, a federal dick. I'll take care of it. Well, what about me? You better go to your cabin. I'll send for you later. And get rid of that gun. All right, I'll wait in 204, but make it snappy. I'm hotter than a Chinese New Year. Boys, get back on the floor. Don't answer any questions and pass this off merely as a fight. Come on, we'll take care of Dixon. seem to notice anything. I hate to tell it. Well, you'd better. All right, come on. About well, time you've showed up. What was the trouble? Plenty. We had a run-in with a federal dick. Here on the ship? Yes. Remember that new man, Dixon? He was the cause of it all. Well, come on, come on. Tell me all about it. Get into those things. We'll make it easier for you to get away. Listen, I've been trying to get a chance to tell you. Kay's been kidnapped. What? I reported it. Headquarters is following it up. How did it happen? As we drove up on the dock tonight, I left Kay in the car while I went to phone and... And you led a federal man right here to this ship of all the dumb half-witted players. How was I to know Dixon had turned red? I thought... You thought. With what? Now we're in a jam. Farrell's aboard and he's too hot to have around. But we gotta have those plates. Sure. But make a deal with them. Promise them anything. Then, as soon as you get your hands on the plates, Wipe him out. All right, I'll get Farrell in here now. Watch yourself, Quist. 
stands to reason, Jim. The crimp is going to use her as a lever to get the plates from May. Got any idea where he might have taken her? No, but she'll be safe. He'll see to that till he makes a deal. But how are you going to get in touch with him? I won't have to. He'll get in touch with me. I'm sure of it. There's the boat now. Take it easy. Just go aboard like a member of the crew. Better watch yourself, Davis. The boss is getting pretty riled up about that federal man getting aboard. Well, what can I do? I don't know everyone. I'm just warning you. Shall I wait for you at the dock? No, I'll get in touch with you through headquarters if I need you. But that won't be until I have an airtight case. Wait there till I see if the coast is clear. Who is it? Me, Valdez. Open up. All right. I can't take any chances. That's all right. Come up to the boss's office. Everything's in the clear. All right. Wait a minute. If you got a gun on you, I'm a little nervous. Well, uh, I'll get you one later. Come on. Hope you have a little luck tonight. You've come to my terms. Of course, you understand, I have to go ashore first to get those plates. And right now, it's not so good. Naturally. Well, you can lay low here for tonight and take the supply launch in the morning. And once you get ashore, stay clear of the ship until we find out if there's any kickback from this trouble tonight. Oh, I'm not so dumb. But just remember this. If you have me trailed when I go ashore for those goods, the deal is off and we're through. Don't worry, Farrell. We know which side our bread is buttered on. All right. Hey, how about that gun you promised me? Oh, oh yes. Uh, Mr. Quist, will you give him a gun? Thanks. I'll see you later. What did you give him a gun for? Oh, I couldn't help it. I promised him a oh, gun. Oh, you're a fool. You're an idiot. I left better watch. Get ready to move. How's your memory today? Any better about where your husband has those plates hidden? I wish I did know. Living in this birdcage ain't funny anymore. I'll make you a proposition. I'm listening. Turn me loose, I'll find Nick and get him to make a deal with you for those plates. Smart girl. But your proposition's haywire. I don't need you. I know where Nick is. At the gambling ship. Right now, some of my men are waiting for him. He'll either lead him to the plates, or be grabbed and made talk. Says you. There's Farrell now. Shall we grab him? Next, let's wait and see what he does and tail him. Get going. Driver, I want to lose a buddy. Keep the chain. your wife. I am. Where is she? With Krim. Turn over the plates and he'll release her. Well, how do I know that you're not hijackers? I'll let you talk to Krim himself. On the phone. Okay, fair enough. Watch him. Stu 
soldiers are here, but how do I know they ain't selling me a line? I'll convince you it's on the level. I'll let you talk to her. Your hubby. Hello, Nick. It's about time you called. Yeah, Crimp Evans has me, all right. We're parked in a car. Satisfied? All right, Crimp. You win. I'll give him the plates. Keep your eye on her. Leave it in me. I'll get the plates. They're in there. They're not here! and get ready to move as soon as those plates arrive. You get the other car ready to move. Here they come now. Wonder why they turned off there. Tom, go and find out and hurry. Something rotten in Denmark. That's Farrell coming. He's alone. He's got a gun, too. Tom, you and Ben hop in the trailer and get out of here. I don't want that girl around here now. We'll settle with Farrell. Okay, Chris. Walking into a trap. Will Stu warn them, or has he an evil plan of his own? And what about Shorty? Will the Secret Service discover his double dealings? Don't miss Out of the Past, next dynamic chapter of Holt of the Secret Service.
Secret Service strikes again. Victory is certain, yet the underworld's toll of men is great. Is Jack Holt doomed to die? He masquerades as ex-convict Nick Farrell to capture a gang of counterfeiters. But rival racketeers step in, and Holt is discovered. Never mind about that. Crimp's men are right behind us. Well, let's get out of here. No, I'm going to stay right here. i got to get that car. I don't see anyone. There they are. They got away. After them. at the mine. At the hideout where you're supposed to have planted them after the raid? That's right. And I'm to meet Quist and Valens in Shorty's back room this afternoon. Good work. You about scared me to death. Uh, Jim, oh, take some men and plant them, and you can follow Holt when they start for the mine. We'll be there. If we land Quist, that ought to about clean up the case. Just about. Well, I'm on my way. Well, if you're sure Quist is your man, the big boss of the outfit, why not grab him at once? We're sure enough. But we have to have evidence enough to convince a jury. We've got to get him with the counterfeit plates in his hands. That's funny. Nothing in the papers about that federal man that Nick knocked off. Nothing in the later editions either. No body washed ashore. Maybe he was playing a lone hand and the department didn't even know he was aboard our ship. Hmm. That would be a break. What about Farrell? He's walking right into the trap. We came for the money. You're not going to let him get this. If our plan works, he won't even see it. This is just to show our good faith in case. All right, all right. But be careful. Beryl's dangerous. He's proved that. Get going. Everything's going smooth. There's Quiston Belden. Yes, but I'm worried about Nick. He should be there. Don't worry about him. He'll be there in time. Jim, did you see that? That man that was watching them is one of Crimp's mob. Yeah? Then Crimp suspects this meeting and means to get those plates. That fellow's going to report to Crimp right now. Yes, and when he gets to Crimp, I'll be right behind him. Any sign of Farrell? Not yet. Now, you men have it straight. When Farrell comes in, That's 
Farrell now. Shorty, stay where you are. The boys will take care of the back room. What do you two mugs want? Got a message for you, Farrell. Sit down. Phyllis. The boss said he couldn't get here. And you must have hand me the package you brought. Well, isn't that just dandy? Did he say anything else? Yeah. He said if you didn't give it to us peaceful, we was to take it forceful. <laughs> you and who else? Just us. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, there's nothing else to do but let you have it. Hey, hey, hey! They're bringing up all the furniture! All right, all right, we'll pay for it. Get in there, Farrell, and kill him. Hold it, Farrell, hold it! Stop it, Farrell. What are you trying to do, kill him? Oh, why not? So you're here, huh? Well, I'm going to let you out. Wait a minute. Didn't you get the money? Didn't I get what money? I never saw any money. You double-crossing bonehead. So you tried to hijack Farrell out of the plates and keep the money for yourself, huh? What did you do with it? Come clean, now. What did you do with it? Get out of here, both of you. Or I knock you both off. I'm sorry this happened, Farrell. Their orders were to hand you the money. Ah, uh, quit your stalling. You schemed and worked, that's all. There's no harm done. I didn't have the plates here anyway. You didn't have them here? What's the idea? Safety first. I'm not taking any chances. I want to see if that dough you're using is Uncle Sam's, or the kind of stuff you boys make. Sit down and take it easy. Let me take a look at it. Sure. They went into Shorty's place. See Farrell? No, he wasn't with them. I'm inside. All right, still spill it. How long ago was this you saw Quiston Bowden? Twenty minutes, maybe. I was in the Shorty's place a little while before. I didn't see nothing of Farrell. The money is good as in the bank. All right, all right. What about the plates? The plates are buried in one of the tunnels in your own hideout. The Seco Hills? Yeah. Kind of surprised you that I used your own place, eh? Well, how are we going to get them? We're going out there. Just the three of us. Nobody else is in on this, Savvy. I'm through with being double-crossed. Well, all right, all right. Have it your own way. Guns. 
This may be a shooting party. I left mine here. I haven't got any spare ammunition. They're on the shelf in the closet. Come on, I'll fix you up. Here, Louis. All set? Okay, let's go. over there and stand by. When you see Quiz come, hustle. We'll be at the mine. Do we have to go? If I told you, you wouldn't need me to show you where the plates are. Have a little patience. You'll get what's coming to you. Wait. Why didn't you leave somebody here to watch? Yeah, there wasn't anybody to leave. Oh, come on. We're after the plates. Get in there. Fellas from the Treasury Department certainly made a mess of our plant. That was my work, Sap. So they wouldn't have any evidence. I destroyed the press, too. But I was smart. I saved the place. Good work. Where are they? Come on, I'll show you. to show you how simple it was. The plates are buried right under this barrel. All right, gentlemen, here we are. The little things we're all after. What are you gathering, gents? Hand them over. Don't try it, Quist. You can't get away with this crimp. Well, I can try. You want to live, Nick? Hand them over. Don't get excited, crimp. Of course I want to live. I'll hand them over.
Why has Quist covered his face? Will he learn the truth about Kay? And will Crimp be able to get away with the valuable plates? He'll fight to the death to hold them. Service lays down the law. The underworld fights back and threatens instant death. Can Jack Holt escape its threats? Disguised as ex-convict Nick Farrell, he lures the leaders of a counterfeit gang into a trap. Suddenly, at the crucial moment, he's discovered. the boss will knock both of us off. Come on. All right, men. Keep under cover. Where's Jack? He went into the mine with Baldwin and Quist. They haven't come out yet. Here he is. We've got to get him out of here to find out what's happened. You up that ladder in there. Get Farrell out of here as soon as he's able to move. I'm going after Crim. <coughs> Come on, Nick. I'll take you to the mine chamber. I'm going to look around. You better get your men closer to the mine. Well, maybe you're right. All right, Frank. We're going in closer to the mine. Excuse for being here better be a good one, Mrs. Farrell. It is. I was supposed to pick Nick up after he delivered the plates. He won't get far. Use my car. It's closer. Let me stay here and find Nick. Nothing doing. We're going to be in on the kill together. I'm on the spot. I don't know whether to follow them or not. You better carry out Farrell's orders, Jim. He's usually right. I hope so. Suppose we hide in that shack over there. That's close to the mine. Come on, man. You got a gun? What do you want a gun for? To kill that double cross and crimp when I catch him. What else? Good. You save me the trouble. That's his signal. That bird mustn't see me. Hold him and follow orders. Drop that gun and stay where you are, both of you. Tell him to just cram. <laughs> What 
is this, Jack? What happened? Everything went haywire. Crimp and his gang hijacked the plates, and Crimp got away with them. Then that must be who Kay is chasing. Kay? Here? Well, we've got to help her. Crimp's desperate. Well, Kay's all right. Quist is with her. Oh, boy, that's dynamite. Let's get to the car. We'll come back for them later. Block the road. I'll go and move it. No. He's hovering around here somewhere. We've got to be careful. The chase is over for you two. Get out of the car, both of you. Come on, get out. Get your lady. I'm gonna pump you off a butting in. But take my tip, and if you follow me, it'll be curtain, Sabby. Nick, I'll kill you for this. Well, I'll die wealthy. By the way, give Nicky my best regards. And tell Quist I'll get in touch with him later. How are you? <laughs> Too late. Crimp just left with the plates. Well, he can't do anything with them until he makes a contact. I got a new job for you, Kay. You game? You don't expect me to say no. Chris is back on the road cold. Go back and help him. Try to get him to take you to the ship. There's where Crimp is going to make his first contact. I can't let Jim go because they know him. Well, what about you? I'm going to follow him and I'll keep in touch with you. Okay, here I go. An angel of mercy to a crook. Good luck. Good luck to you, kid. You're okay. What about Dalton? Keep him locked up. Don't let anybody see him. He'll sing eventually. Yeah? Frank and Leighton are here. Send him in quick. It's the boys. Any luck? No trace of Crip. He hasn't been near his hangouts. But I left men to cover them just in case. I've got a hunch that Crip is going to sell those plates back to the gang. Undoubtedly. But he hasn't the equipment to use them. The boat's still our best bet. I hope the K managed to get aboard all right. Frank. Yeah. You better go down and cover Kay. She may need help. If anything breaks, get in touch with us here. The boat, it'll be. What about me? You're going to stay with me temporarily. Odd 17 on the flag. All right, make your bet. Stu, what do you want? Where's the boss? Who wants to know? I do. And he'll want to see me more than I want to see him. I got a message from Crimp Evans about something that your boss wants to find out. Oh, that's different. See the cashier. Now, who can that be? Whoever it is, he's not going to see me. You take charge. This is going to be my lucky night, boy. It is if you don't drink anymore. Ah, drink. Hello, Quist. Well, what do you want? I'm from Crimp. Well? He's got something you need, and he's willing to do business. For what price? Not much. But he wants it in good old United States money. All right, sit down. <laughs> Oh, 
stop stalling. Name your price. 20 grand. What? You... We'll take five. Cash on the line. If that cheap chiseler tries to hold us up, we'll blast him. You can't find him. And if you don't play ball, we'll do business with somebody else. You go back to Crimp and tell him I'll give him an hour to bring those plates here. He won't do it unless I deliver the spondulics. He'll better or I'll... Promise him anything he asks, you fool. Agree to do anything he says. Okay, give him credit. He's good for it. Well? All right, Stu, I've changed my mind. I'll deal. What's the setup? It's a nifty. You come ashore with me and bring the dough. Crimp will meet us. All right, I'll get the cash. It's in my safe. I'll only be a minute. Take your time, but make sure it's the right kind of dough, not homemade. Why don't you look where you're going, you clumsy lug? I'm sorry, lady, I'm sorry. Quist is going ashore to contact Crimp, get word to the office. The next time, look where you're going. Last call, shoreboat. Hey, 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 pull it for me. They got all my dough. I'm going to show and get some more. Watch your step. That water's cold. Yeah. This waiting gets my gold. Impatience won't get us anywhere. Hello? Yes? Well, I'll let you talk to Jack. It's Frank. Hello? Yeah? Swell. Okay, we'll be on the job. Is Kay all right? Thanks. Quist is coming ashore to contact Crimp. I think I know just the place they're going to meet. Jim, I'll be needing you. I'll change my clothes and we'll be waiting for them. Report in. I'll be anxious. Okay. we do? Just watch things. Either Crimp will come here or his men will lead us to him. Sit down. Where's Crimp? Crimp ain't no sap. He'll be here with the plates, but only when I bring the five G's to him. Well, if I give you the money, what guarantee have I got that Crimp will keep his word? Exactly none. This is Crimp's deal. Take it or leave it. All right. I'll risk it. But if Crimp don't come through, we'll track him down wherever he is. You wait here. Everything's gonna be just dandy for all of us. There goes Crimp's man now. Must be close by, he's not using his car. Keep your eye peeled for Quest. If he comes out, follow him, but keep undercover. Hey, Crimp. Crimp, come on. Wake yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. He fell for it. I took him easy. Boy, am I a salesman. I'm smart in that gang. So finance that trip I told you about and start us up in business. I'm gonna print bales of this stuff and get rich. Yeah, if we can smuggle those plates out. That's a cinch. We better start packing. The boat leaves at two bells. Get those bags. <laughs> I told him where to get off. Shorty's Emporium. Yeah, wait a minute. For you, Quit. Hello? Yes. Farrell? Where are you? I'm at Crimp's hideout, and I was lucky to find it. Listen. He's crossing you up, he's taking the 5G and taking it on the land. How do you know all this? I heard him spill it. But from now on, I'm giving orders, so don't try and double-cross me again. If you want to get crimp in those plates, get some of your men and meet me at 3rd and Oak and get here fast. I'm on my way. i got to leave right away, Shorty. What's happened? Plenty. If anybody calls, I'll be back later. Crimp, open up! What's the matter with you? Quish gang, what about them? Well, they just pulled up in a car across the street. That means we're in for a fight. Go out and store them. I'll get rid of the place. Mr. 
good thing you made it fast. What's your plan? Crimp's over in that flat. We'll cover all the exits. Then you and I'll close in and grab him and the plates. Get your men out of there. All right, men, get out. You men, get around and cover that fire escape in the back. You might try to make a getaway, and we can't afford to lose him. Now listen, Twist. Who is it? Take this to the main post office. Register and mail it. And hold the receipt at your office till I call for it. Yes. Keep the chain. Oh, thanks. Get out. What's the matter? That messenger. I don't like it. What's the matter with him? I don't know, but it's too late now. Take it easy, Quister. You'll never know. You better come through, old man. I did. Right through the lot of you. The plates are gone. We won't accept that. Trust me, then. him talk? And if he does, will Kay be able to warn the Secret Service? And what is Shorty doing on the gambling ship? Does he know more than he admits? Be sure to see Sealed in Silence, next pulse-raising chapter of Holt of the Secret Service. Service is on the march. Crime shall never pay. Yet the underworld despoils and murders to the bitter end. Is Jack Holt next on the list? He poses as ex-convict Nick Farrell to capture the leader of a counterfeit gang. He's just about to get his man when suddenly he's discovered. What are those plates, Quint? Take it easy, Quist, or you'll never know. You better come through, old man. I did. Right through the lot of you. The plates are gone. We won't accept that. Trust me, then. I haven't located the plates yet. I've got to go back. Quist and Crimp are still up there. Well, why not let us all go and drag them in? And lose all chance of convicting them? No, I'll handle it. Don't do anything till I give you a signal. Quist, you. 
I'm all about that. Did you find the plates? No, I've searched everywhere. They're not here. Well, let's get out of here. There's no telling how many more of the gang are around. How about taking Crimp to the boat? Maybe we can make him talk. That's a great idea. My car's outside. Let's get him. What about this other fella? Oh, let him stay there. He's just a stoop. Where are you taking me? Bye-bye, Crimp. Bye-bye. What does that mean? Your guess is as good as mine. We can't move until he gives us a signal. Ain't you coming with us? No, I'm gonna stay here and see that you're not followed. Can you handle him alone? I'll say I can. I've got six little helpers. Well, get him to the boat and make him sing. He'll sing all right. I'll contact you through Shorty, right? Right. Why didn't you signal us? There was a slip someplace. Plates weren't there. Dismiss your men and come with me. We've got a lot to work out. Just as you say. Drive back to headquarters. Come on. Your news ain't so hot, Stu. They'll make Crimp talk. You and me better get the plates and beat him to it. Yeah, but Crimp never let me in on where he sent the plates. Everybody's crossing everybody else. I might as well join the parade. I'm closing this joint and getting out of that ship. I know it's risky business, but those plates are worth it. All right, Shorty. You're on your own, but you're taking a chance. Okay, I'm on my way. some more chips. Not without the boss is okay. Well, that's easy to get. Wait to see. I'm giving you one last chance. Where are those plates? Save your breath. I'm telling you nothing. Listen, Crimp, why don't you be smart and talk now? Save yourself a lot of grief. I might even make a deal with you. Nothing doing. All right, Crimp, it's your last chance before I sell you out. He's asking for it, men. But don't be too rough with him. I don't want it to show. Hello, Mrs. Farrow. What are you doing on deck? Taking the air. You don't charge extra for that, do you? No, but I think you ought to stick close to your cabin or else to the gaming room. The cabin's out and I've lost all my dough. Oh, well, I can fix that. Hey. Thanks. Hello, Shorty. What brings you on board? You haven't seen Crimp Evans, have you? No, but we'd like to. What's eating you? Did you see a cop? No. Just a bird I want to talk to. Excuse me. How much is a stack? Twenty bucks. Give me one. Hello, Shorty. Oh, hello, Quist. Nice joint you got here. Not bad. Why are you paying us a visit? Why? Why my money's as good as anybody's, ain't it? Sure. As long as you behave yourself with it. Meaning what? Just that. No tricks and don't get out of line or I'll... Forget it. Can't a guy have a little fun? Sure. Help yourself. You might even pick up a little extra change. Thanks. Sure gonna try. Uh-uh. Ladies present. Friends ready to talk to you now. Didn't take much. Soft. Well, Crimp. 
Tell me you're ready to be reasonable. Come on, come on, you're not hurt. Use your head, Crimp. It'll go easier with you if you answer a few questions. About what? Well, to start with, there's been several leaks regarding our plans. Raids and hijacking have taken place. What do you know about them? Nothing. Then how did you happen to know that we went to the hideout after the plates? Who tipped you off? Who tipped you off? Shorty! That dirty little stool pigeon, why, he's on the boat right now! Get out to the passenger gangway and stand guard. See that Shorty don't leave the boat. Right. What, no boat? How am I gonna get to shore? You won't for 15 minutes. What's the matter, did they break you? Yeah. You, watch him. I'll be in the gambling room. All set, Quest. No boats leave and give the word. Shorty's still on board. Yeah, he went that way. Good. You get some boys together and round that bird up. I'm gonna notify the boss. Right. Here we go. Any luck tonight, Mr. Arnold? Oh, about the same as usual. Uh, Charlie. No more credit for O'Brien. Right. Good evening, Mr. Arnold. Now listen, man. Find Shorty. He can't get off the boat. If he puts up a fight, let him have it. Okay. Another stool pigeon on board. Come into my office. We'll be interrupted here. Snap on the lights. All right, start talking fast and plain. Well, I know now why a lot of our plans have gone haywire. A man we thought was okay has been double-crossing us. You mean Nick Farrell? No, that's what I thought, too. But Nick's proved himself a right guy. A stool pigeon is Shorty. Shorty? Oh, <laughs> that small-time chiseler. Well, if he's aboard, what have you done about it? Well, I've got the man out trying to round him up. Good. As soon as you find him, let me know. All right, boss. It won't be long. You can come out now, Shorty. Well, Shorty, this is a surprise. So now you know all about my running this outfit, don't you? Now listen, I... Shut up! You know, the next time you want to do any snooping, you shouldn't stand in front of a mirror. The only trouble with that advice is, there won't be any next time. Now, wait a minute, boss. I can explain. Don't be hasty. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Send him in. It's Frank. We may get some news. Any luck? All bad. What about the prisoner, Belvin? Get any out of him? Not a thing. He shut up like a clam. We followed orders and not a soul has seen him. But some lawyer's working his head off trying to spring him. There goes your case, Holt. With those plates missing, this case against Quist wouldn't stand up a minute in court without Belvin's evidence. Maybe I can make him talk. You want to visit him in prison? No, I've got another plan. All right, spill it. No dice, Governor. The mouthpiece reports he's tried everything, and they wouldn't even let him see Bowden. Fine lawyer. Charges me a fortune and does nothing. Oh, but he found out plenty. Bowden's to be taken out of the state to avoid a court order to produce him. They think of everything, don't they? When's he leave? Today, at 3 o'clock. You better do something before Bowden cracks up and talks. I will. Where are you taking me? Across the state line where your lawyer can't reach you. Then you'll talk, brother.
What does that crazy driver expect? The whole road? Why, the sap doesn't know you're a government man. Why don't you tell him? Nick, how'd you tell me? I'll tell you about it later. Where's the key to those bracelets? In his vest pocket. He's out like a light. Why don't you finish him off so he can't follow us? Nothing doing. Enough trouble with the feds already. Come on, let's get out of here. Suppose he's a wise guy and crashes right through it. The boss covered that, too. Butch and the truck ahead will take care of him. Well, why didn't some of the regular boys do the job? They're known by the feds. Beat him, Carson. Get out and pull that stuff out of my way. Now's your chance. Let him have it. Butch in the truck now. We've done our part. We gotta make sure. Come on. There's no use. I'm done for. Don't be a quitter. I'll get you to a doctor in a few minutes. I can't hold out, Nick. This is Quist's work. He's afraid you talk. You're wrong. Quist isn't the boss. He isn't? Who is? His name is. Is who? Come on, Val, and speak. Who is it? Who is it? Pull over and let me pass. I've got a dying man in the car. Get over yourself. Life is at stake. Can she outwit that radio operator? Can she contact the Secret Service? And what about the mutiny on the crime ship? Will Kay be able to interfere, or will Crimp win out? Don't fail to see Name to Die, next thrill-packed episode of Hope of the Secret Service. Secret Service smashes through the crime ring. The government men are faced with death, for the underworld seeks revenge. Can Jack Holt escape the fate of the rest? While posing as ex-convict Nick Farrell, he nearly learns the identity of a counterfeit gang leader. Suddenly, he is discovered. I can't hold out, Nick. This is Quist's work. He's afraid you talk. You're wrong. Quist isn't the boss. He isn't? Who is? His name is... <laughs> is... Who? Come on, Val, and speak. Who is it? Who is it? Come over and let me pass. I've got a dying man in the car. Get over yourself!
told you I wouldn't miss. Valen is through talking forever. What happened to the government man, the driver? He must still be in the car, burning up. You're wrong. Now, don't make a move. Well, you're the boneheads that are responsible for that murder. Well, I know oh, we, uh... shut up. I drove that car and I hijacked the federal man. And you gummed up the works and killed one of the boss's best men. We only followed orders. Well, you're taking orders from me from now on. And I'm taking you in and it ain't where you think. Now, get going. Get going. Those three men I brought in are just stooges, but hold them nevertheless. On what charge? Murder. One of them fired the shot that killed Valen. Any news from Kay? She's still on the boat. I checked. You want me to go out again? No, that's my job. I'm hoping she's found out the name of the real boss of that outfit. I thought Quist was. <laughs> so did I, but Valden said he wasn't. And all our work so far has been for nothing. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Hand me my hat, will you, Frank? The only thing is, he's smarter than I thought he was. He's not taking any chances. But I'm betting you that Kay will give us the name of our man when I get out there. Well, boys, I'm on my way. Stand by. I may need you and need you bad. We'll be here. Good luck, Jack. I'm going to need it. I ain't saying nothing. All right, Crimp. You've had your chance. Boys, work them over after the guests have gone ashore. And how? Wait a minute. What do I get out of this if I tell you where I mail them plates? Well, you save your life for one thing, and then we declare you in on the cleanup. You'd better do it. All right. I'll take a chance. I mail a place for myself to the island of Capus. Never heard of it. Where is it? Three days down the coast. It's owned by one of the warring nations, but out of the lane of travel. It's a tip of a hideaway. Warring nations. Then now there's no extradition treaty from there. That's just dandy, Crimp. Just dandy. Lock him up in his cabin, boys. That's fair enough. As long as you give me plenty to eat. Uh, be careful in the room. Well, I hope you're lucky. Oh, Hold it, Farrell. You had orders to stay off the ship. Quest changed his mind. I gotta see him right away, or must we argue? I'm not here because I want to be. Things happen and I had to come. Sure you weren't followed? What do you think? So you bumped off Valden, eh? You're crazy. I don't know anything about it. Well, he's dead. Read that. Nothing to do with this. Falden was my best man. Oh, quit stalling. No man's any good when he's in a position to talk. And Valden was in that position. How about Crimp? Did he tell you where he hit those plates? No. Well, I'm staying aboard this ship until you do. Well, stay out of sight of that wife of yours. She's plenty sore. Says you gave her the runaround. Well, she asked for it. From now on, she's on her own. I'm through. trying to connect Valden's death with that of Shorty Dolan, notorious underworld character whose body was washed ashore last night. The police believe they have a clue to the killing of Shorty Dolan and poker chips found in his pocket. Poker chips? Well, they can be traced to this ship. Well, what if they are? That don't prove the killing took place here. If they raid us, there's no telling what they may be able to prove. Close the games and get the captain in here. We're sailing as soon as the last guest has gone ashore. Get that? We're sailing out of here. Yeah. Is it safe? Safe as anything could be on this tub. I'll talk fast. They've got Crimp under guard in cabin 204. I think they've made him tell where the plates are. Good. Now I want to tell you something. I found out that Quist is not the leader. I found out the same thing, but there was no way to get word to you. Great. Who is he? 
I only heard his voice through a door. He's educated and plenty tough. He's on the boat. Now it's up to us to locate him. Careful. Farrell, something's happened. We're pulling out of here. Oh, Captain! Yes? Go into the cabin for orders. We're getting out of here. You mean we're up the anchor? Yes, just as soon as we get these saps ashore. But why should we do that? Go into the cabin for orders. Let me help you there, Jim. Watch your step. I can't. We've got to get word to Malloy. But how? Last boat ashore. Get aboard that boat. Tell him to follow this one with the Coast Guard cutter. But what about you? I'm going to stay here, of course. You've got to hurry. That's the last of them. Cast off. Wait a minute. I'm going ashore. Nothing doing. You're part of the crew. Like fun I am. I'm scrambling out of here. Boss's orders. Okay, Charlie. Take it away. Why all the commotion? We're expecting a raid. I don't get it. Well, Shorty Dolan was out here last night and met with an accident. So what? You haven't got brains enough to run this outfit. Do you mean to say you didn't strip him before you threw him overboard? I had nothing to do with it. I didn't give the orders. The orders were given by... No, absolutely no. Why the buzzer? Oh, a cheap chiseler wants a check cashed. All customers are sure. Anything else? Yes. Have the boys cover the tables. It'll be lights out in 30 minutes. Nick, your wife's still on board. Still on board? Boss's orders. Say, what's the idea? Calm down, Farrell. You don't have to meet her. She knows too much to be left behind. You're still making a mistake. Get going, Davis. Captain. Yes, sir? Get underway as soon as possible. Head due south till further orders. Uh, due south it is, sir. And, Captain, remember, as always, I'm just a guest on this ship to others. Right? Aye, aye, sir. I understand. I see by your face the news is bad. Yeah, they slipped one over on us, Chief. That gambling ship slipped her morning sometime during the night. This is bad news. They may have discovered the identity of Holt and Miss Drew. That sounds like the answer. One or the other of them would have tipped us off to this move if there had been a chance. Uh, wait. <clears throat> Radio room? Yes, sir. Malloy speaking. Put this message in code and broadcast to all Coast Guard ships and stations. Ready? Find and bring in gambling ship adventure wherever found. Contact our operatives X4 and B12. They are on board. Hurry it up. What's that thing sputtering about? Please. Mm -hmm. Broadcast to the Coast Guard. Put me wise, Skipper. Where are we headed? Well, due south are my only orders, and south it is, sir. <laughs> that takes in a lot of territory. I'll tell you where we're going, men. Never heard of the island of Capus? Capus? Yeah. That's where the wanted men hide out. And on account of the war, Uncle Sam can't bring him back. That's right. And that's where Crimp Evans mailed the plates to himself. And we're going after them. Well, I never thought he had that many brains. Well, if you'll excuse me, uh, I'll have to go to the bridge and look that up on my charts. Uh, I never heard of the island. I'm telling you this for your own good. The reason why Quist took out the sea was two men were murdered on this ship. And the feds are after us. Yeah, well, we're getting away, ain't we? They're getting away. But not you. You and the rest of the crew are going to be made goats. Your only chance is to take the ship over now. Oh. Well, look who's here. Lucky Arnold. Yeah. What's left of him. What are you doing here? Huh. I should ask you that. I take a couple of drinks, go to sleep. I wake up and find myself being carried off. I'm sorry about this, Arnold. But we were tipped off that a raid was going to take place when we pulled out of there. We thought all the guests had gone ashore. You can't do this to me. I insist that you put me ashore at once. Sure, turn the tub around and put him ashore. Now look here, Arnold. You're in this jam the same as the rest of us. And you're going to take it and like it. <laughs> He'll take it, but he won't like it. <laughs> my lawyer will take care of this. I'd hate to be hanging by my neck till you see your lawyer. And take that monkey suit off. The steward will supply you with whatever you need. All right, but you'll pay for this. You'll pay. I'll bet you ten to one he doesn't pay. He's never paid yet, have you, Quist? Oh, fine, thing. <laughs> I'll have to show this to Quist. 
Well, look, couldn't I just wait here? I don't want to run into Nick. No, if it's against orders. I have to lock up. Come on. Fox, you haven't seen me. I'm ditching that double harness of mine. I understand, Mrs. Farrell. I intercepted a message in code, and I can't read it yet, but it mentions the name of this ship. Looks as though the Coast Guard will be after it. Coast Guard? That's not so hot. Well, I can't make anything out of this. Let me look. I know a little about code. Maybe I can help. Well, why don't you give him a hand? I will, but it'll take a little time. Well, that's all right. Well, give me a little time. I'll get it. Well, get back to the radio room and see what you can make out of it. All right. Oh, so you're hanging around. Hello, big and handsome. Having a nice trip? You go ahead and start. I want to put my wife in her place. Careful, the boss don't like fights. There won't be any fight. They've just picked up a wireless from the Coast Guard saying to stop the ship and search it. Yes, I know. I was... Quiet. They may be able to decode it. The message said there were two agents aboard. Have you got a gun? Yes, in my cabin. Well, you better get it. There may be some trouble. I'm going to try to stop them from decoding it if I can. Be careful. Well, how's it coming? I'm on the right track. Give me a little time. I'll get it. Now, if you get stuck, why, call on me. Maybe I can help you out. Listen to Crimp. He has something I think we can all cash in on. Listen, men. We don't have to take orders from anybody. I have an idea how we can take this ship over. That ain't so hot. Uh-uh, that's mutiny. Count me out. Not for me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I haven't finished. Men, if we take over this ship before we arrive at our destination, I promise you this. I'll make you all rich men. Oh, what are you giving us, Crimp? I mean it. I have the means. I'll make more money for you than you've ever seen in your life. Now, you have your choice between risking a stretch the federal pen for mutiny or making a fortune out of those plates. What do you say? What do you think? Oh, Sounds pretty good. good. All right, all right. Come on, make up your mind. All right, we'll take over the ship. All right, to the ladder. The girl, get her! Hold that door. So you were listening. Nothing of the sort. I heard what you said, Crimp, but I want to go in with you. Oh, no, you don't. I trusted you once, Mrs. Farrow, but never again. Tie her up. I've got it. I've got it, sure as fate. Finished it? Not quite, but I've got it. I got it. That'll hold her. It's too bad you can't be in on the fun. Let me, you and the men go to the gambling room. I'll take Slug and Lefty and check the cabins. Come on. Listen, find and bring in gambling ship adventure wherever found. Contact our operatives X4 and B12 who are on board, signed Malloy. What does this mean, our operatives X4 and B12 aboard? It means I'm taking that message. No, you can't. I gotta get Wait it. a minute, Sonny. Use your head. Don't fool with the United States government. You're liable to get yourself in trouble. Government? Yeah, the United States government. I'm hold of the Secret Service, and I'm taking that message. See what it is. Get back to your station. Stations? We haven't got any stations. You are you your jealous. Stop. Tell him. Stop. Save your wife. She's tied up in the forward hole. Help! He can't get off the boat after him.
In a jungle full of traps, can Crimp escape them all? Or has he a plan to use them himself? And who are these renegades? How did they get the plates? For the answer, don't miss the exciting adventures in Ominous Warning. Next chapter of Holt of the Secret Service. service busts the rackets. The risks are great and the government men are daily faced by death. Can Jack Holt see it through? He poses as ex-convict Nick Farrell to capture a band of counterfeiters. He's aboard the gang's gambling ship headquarters when a code message is intercepted. Holt is discovered. You are do your killing. Stop! Stop. Save your wife! She's tied up with a forward hole! Help! He can't get off the boat after him! decoded that message from the department, saying there were two agents aboard. Did he tell anybody? He didn't have a chance before he was shot, but he might have written enough to make it tough for us. We've got to search his cabin. Come on. Now go to your quarters. If you behave yourselves, I may overlook what happened. Can you keep them in there? Mm, no, I think so. I'll batten down the hatch and put a guard on. The fight's pretty well taken out of it. That's a break. The captain has the men under control. Oh, Jack. Yes, I know. They drilled him. The important thing, though, is to find that message. Last time I saw it was here, someplace. Here it is. Here it is. We're lucky. We found it before somebody else did. But how can we arrest Quist? There's no extradition law where we're going. We'll have to figure that out when we get there. Also, who Quist is taking orders from. Come on, let's get out of here. So you two lovebirds finally got together. We missed you in the battle, Farrell. Were you enjoying the scenery or were you just tired? A man has rights to take care of his own, hasn't he? 
They had her tied up in the hole. My hero. Oh, shut up. What are you going to do about that radio operator? We'll take care of him. And as for Kremp and his helpers, we've got him locked up in the hole. If they try anything, we'll shoot them down like mad dogs. Nice guy. So tender and kind. He'll pay for it with interest when his time comes. The bunch off that ship that anchored last night. Yeah. The boss said to let them know when they arrived. Mr. Gaddy, those people from the boat are here, sir. Well, new arrivals always vary the monotony, especially if they're fugitives from what they call uh, justice. These look more like tourists to me. Well, whoever they are, we'll exact our small profit before we let them go, eh, Rankin? <laughs> yes, sir. Who's in charge here? Mr. Garrity. The Mr. Garrity. See the postmaster? Mister, whatever there's needed around here, he's it. He's the high muckety-muck of this island. Mm-hmm. Well, well, and a goodly crowd was there. What can I do for you? This gentleman expects a registered package here. What's your name? Evans. Crimp Evans. Crimp. How quaint. Yes, I have a package. Mailboat left it some days ago. You'll have to sign for it. I mean, out of a sign. It's deadly if you're not used to it. Well, they got you in a hot spot now. What do you mean? You take those plates and you just sign your death warrant, that's all. Well, what do I do? Well, why ask me? What are you two hanging back for? I don't want to take those plates in front of those strangers. Uh, don't worry. You won't have them long. <laughs> what did I tell you? Here you are, Mr. Evans. Come on, come on. There is, of course, a slight service charge of $20. $20? I haven't got that much. I won't take the package now. Come now, you wouldn't let so small a sum stand between you and your property. Pay no attention to him. I'll pay the charges. Patience, my impetuous friend. It's his package. His name is on it. Leave it here, I tell you. I don't want it. Wait. I don't like monkey business. Just why don't you want your property? Take my I'll idea. tell you why. If I accept that package, they'll kill me to get away with it. That's why they're here. Don't listen to his fibbles. The man's crazy. Take your dough and give us the package. We want to scram out of here. Don't do it, Mr. Garrity. Please, please. Well, in all my experiences, I've never ran across anything like it. <laughs> and I've had some very funny experiences. <laughs> oh, can the chatter and make up your mind. What are you going to do with it? Patience, my mouthy friend. I must think this over. <laughs> what with? Brains. <laughs> Plenty of brains, as you will soon find out. The package is valuable. Very valuable. Keep it. It's safe with you. Keep it, I tell you. Well, there seems only one thing to do. Ascertain as to what is in here that is so valuable and so dangerous. I wouldn't if I were you. Well, but you're not me. I'm me. And me is going to open it. Don't you know it's against the law to open other people's mail? At present, I'm the law here, the only law. And I hope that sinks in. I'm opening the package. Ah, I see. I don't wonder at the argument. I should judge these to be very valuable. But only to us. Hand them over, Garrity. I know what I have here. I should arrest you as counterfeiters. But then I'd have to feed you, not get back on your ship and stay there. You mean leave? Whether you leave or not is immaterial, but get out of here. But the plates, his plates, are confiscated by due process of the law, my law. Now get out, all of you. Boys, get out. You'll pay for this. Come on, get out. Get going. Stay. Let me stay here. I had nothing to do with that gang. They shanghaied me. I'm rich. I'll pay you well. I want none of you here. 
I don't want anything to do with that gang. Let me stay, too. Shut up that wife of yours and make her come along. Don't bother about her. She's made her choice. The thing I'm worried about is the plates. Well, how are you going to get them? Like this. <laughs> Wrong, my friend. The owner escaped to the jungle, the fool. I'll hold the plates here until he establishes his claim. And somebody pays for the damage to my property. Now herd them all to the shore, and if they land again, shoot to kill. You heard what the boss said. Now get moving. Good work, Rankin. I'll remember this. Thank you. How about us? You're the first woman I ever met who didn't get excited. Over a fight? I was raised on him. Then we can stay? For the time, yes. out of here at once. Those men who are locked in the hold are getting hard to handle. What, and leave Nick's wife and Arnold? <laughs> That's a hot one. Quist worried about my wife. But I'm not gonna pull out of here till I get those plates. Say, why don't we go ashore and try to get them ourselves? What, and have Garrity's men pick us off one by one? Well, maybe you're scared, but I'm not. I've got a good mind to tackle the job myself. I wouldn't advise it. But if you really mean to go, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I know that. Look here, Pearl, I was a gentleman. There won't be any fight. There won't be any fight. But I still think the trip's worth thinking about. These plates are the finest I've ever seen. With proper materials, bills can be made from them that would pass anywhere. Well, if they're so valuable, you think those guys are going to give them up without a fight? Well, what can they do? They're divided even in their own ranks. Just the same. I think we ought to watch them closely. Well, if you watch them too closely, they won't attempt anything. Which wouldn't suit my plans at all. Well, why don't you let us in on it, then? We'll put those plates to work as soon as we can import the necessary plant. With an unlimited treasury, we might even expand the limits of our island empire. <laughs> well, we're getting into bad habits. It's way past our bedtime.
you're taking a terrible risk. Never mind about that. What'd you find out, Kate? I saw Garrity put the plates in the safe in his office. That's fine. Fine. We're in a terrible spot. What do you mean? Well, Garrity and his gang are planning to use the plates themselves. I was afraid of that. We are in a tough spot. Cliff Evans. I wonder what he's doing here. He can't know where the plates are. It's my hunch he has some idea, or else he wouldn't come back. I'm gonna find out. You stay put. I'll take care of him. <laughs> Signal. Next revealing chapter of Holt of the Secret Service. Secret Service wars against crime. The underworld is strong and fights back with a deadly reign of terror. Will Jack Holt escape its wrath? He trails a counterfeit mastermind to a tropical isle, but fate intervenes and he's trapped in a jungle man trap.
Ross, what are the orders? Spread out, beat the entire jungle. He can't be far. All right, come on, man. Search him, boys, and see if he's got a gun. I'll signal for the others. That's Rankin's signal. They've got Farrell. Now, Mr. Farrell, the others will be here any minute. And then you'll see what we do to double crosses. Do I have to keep my hands up here till they get here? Why, no. Relax. Thanks. <laughs> leave those plates there. We'd better take them back to Garrity. Yes. Yes, Carson. Maybe you're right. Too bad, old man. You saw too much. It's Carson. Farrell must have shot him. Yes, and he's made his getaway. Oh, no, he hasn't. He's got the plates and we'll try and get on the boat with him. Now, you take your men and continue the search. We'll take Carson back to the trading post. Oh, give me that gun. All right, men, get him up. bother to carry him back. The show to Garrity. He's the law here, Rady. Farrell's got the place and a murder rap will take care of him without us doing anything. Come on. Shot him, he's dead in a macro. Well, if he's dead, he's no more use to me. Put him in his cabin. Step in, Rankin. What about the plates? Didn't you get them? No, Farrell still has them. Well, he can't live in the jungle forever. We'll get him. Against a man getting some sleep around here, this is the second time I've been awakened. So you've been disturbed. But there's been a robbery and a murder. Farrell, eh? Yeah. Who'd he kill? My warehouse man. Hmm, that's too bad. But I can't say I'm much surprised. Farrell and the rest of that outfit are a dangerous lot. 
Well, he'll cease to be dangerous when I get my hands on him. I'll make an example of him. Farrell is going to have a public execution. Death before a firing squad. Oh, why not knock him off when we get him and have it over with? And lose this chance for an example to the natives? I should say not. Farrell killed a man in the village, and I could turn that to my advantage. Play the part of the big protector. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. No, oh, he thinks of everything. You shouldn't have come back. They're going to have you shot for killing one of their men. I know, but I didn't shoot him. They're just using that as an excuse. But they haven't caught me yet. They will if you stay here. You'd better leave. Not a chance. My job's here and I'm staying. I want to see if anybody's listening. It's important that I get Farrell alive. I know. I gave your orders to all the men. Dead, we'll never get those plates. Organize another searching party in the morning. We'll get him. Well, you were whining about sleep. Why don't you try to get some? Well, I, I think I will. Uh, night again. Good night. Good night. I wonder what his idea was sneaking down here to get an airflow. Who's that? Must be Arnold. He's right across the hall. Come here. The man that shot Carson must have had the plates. He probably shot him because he knew too much. Crimp Evans? I don't think so. As far as I know, Crimp was unarmed. He couldn't have found a gun in the jungle. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. I'll probably hide out tonight, and as soon as it's light, I'll go to the place where they shot course, and maybe I can find a clue. Can you find the place? I can try. I wasn't far away when I heard the shot. Take care of yourself, Jane. Yeah. I shot him when I had a chance. Well, I'm glad you didn't. I got other plans for Mr. Farrell. Get your men inside. I'll explain to all of you. Someone's sending us a signal from shore. Heliograph flashes. Hmm, must be Mr. Arnold. Couldn't be anyone else. That's Arnold, all right. And he's trying to signal. Give him to me. Maybe I can read what he's saying. What does he say? He says he's recovered the plates and may come aboard tonight. Well, that's good news. Now we can up anchor and get away from here. See what that is. <clears throat> well, the wanderer returns. What brought you back? To do you a favor. A favor? For me? You want Farrell, don't you? What makes you think so? I saw him stealing the plates last night. I followed him. On the trail, he jumped me and knocked me cold. Well, where is he now? First, I want protection from that mob. Okay, it's a deal. Where's Farrell? I saw him signal the ship. 
He didn't go aboard. He's still in the jungle. That's good news. We'll get on the trail right away. Get him a new outfit and he'll go with you. Then round up the men. Spread out. I'll take those plates to Garrity. I'll keep these plates. I'll take those plates. Don't try to pull anything, Crimp. You go on ahead. We'll follow in a minute. Tell Garrity to get out his firing squad. Right. We'll have a celebration. All right. Pick him up, boys. All right, Mr. Farrell. You're just about through. Well, what is it now? Well, Mr. Gary, I'm not complaining about you. You've been swell to me, but after all, a woman doesn't like to go around forever with only one dress. Well, what do you expect me to do about it? Garrity, our trouble's over. Here are the plates. Good. Where's Farrell? You didn't let him get away. Oh, no. Rankin's bringing him in. How about a shooting party? We'll hold the excuse right away. Hey, you guys ain't serious about that bumping off business, are you? Very serious. The guilty must be punished. But you can't shoot a man without a trial. This is not a woman's business. Keep out of it. Besides, my mind's made up. What about the guns? They're in the storeroom. I'll load them right away. Now, first, ring the bell. Get the natives out so I can give them a display of my power. Right. But, Mr. Gary... Don't interfere! Hello, Mr. Gary. the man that killed your good friend, Karst. Well, Mr. Farrell, it's a pleasure to see you again. Too bad a firing squad is going to put an end to our brief friendship. This isn't justice. It's murder. I didn't kill Carson. No, of course not. A murderer is never guilty. But the evidence says you are, and you're going to pay for it. Why the rush? Can I even get a trial? I'm the law here, and as far as I'm concerned, you've already been tried. What evidence? That's I enough. There's no use arguing. You killed one of my workmen, and there's a very definite penalty for that. Put him up against the wall. Congratulations. I didn't think you'd do it. Well, give him to the man. Come on, get at it. Now, if you're soft-hearted, you don't need to watch. Well, Farrell, do you want the usual handkerchief? Forget it. This is the only thing in life I haven't seen. <laughs> you made him get out of there. Too bad, Mrs. Farrell. Ah, uh, he brought it on himself for sap. He has only himself to blame. All right, get a good beat on it. escaped. Will this ruin the Secret Service plans? Can Arnold control the island renegades? 
And what about the native uprising? There's danger ahead if they go on the warpath. You can't afford to miss Prison of Jeopardy, next fast action chapter of Hold of the Secret Service. Service gangs up on gangdom. The racketeers are doomed, yet they'll exact a heavy toll before they're caught. Will Jack Holt be victim to the underworld's revenge? He's fallen into the hands of tropical island desperados and faces death by a firing squad. Well, Farrell, do you want the usual handkerchief? Forget it. This is the only thing in life I haven't seen. <laughs> You men get out of there. Too bad, Mrs. Farrell. Ah, uh, he brought it on himself, the sap. He has only himself to blame. All right, get a good beat on him. the mercy shot. Not me. All right, I'll do it myself. Turn me loose? Yes, but with one proviso. If anything happens to that wife of mine, you're the first one I'm gonna get. Oh, I'll protect her, I promise. All right, see that you do. Now get going. Can't understand it. I loaded those guns myself. He got away, so what? Well, it's no sign of Garrity. I'm betting Farrell bumped him off. Now what are we gonna do? I'll tell you what you're gonna do. Since you men are without a leader, I'm taking over. You? You? No one else. There's no need of my stalling any longer. Those counterfeit plates belong to my organization, and I intend they shall not get away. That's right, boys. He's the big boss of a mob. You'd better throw in with him. They have no choice, Grim. I just told them I'm taking over. I mean it. Where's the girl? Safe enough. Locked in her room. All right, I'll give you a minute to think it over. Make up your minds what you're going to do. Oh, let's don't take the order from that guy, on. Come on. All right, come on. What's it to be? All right, Arnold. We'll take orders from you, at least until Garrity gets back. Good. You're using your brain. We wouldn't be in this jam if you fools hadn't missed. I can't understand it. I shot straight at his heart. Me too. Don't be dumb. No bullets reached the wall. I checked. The guns all contain blanks. I don't get it. I didn't think you would. In plain words, someone took the lead out of the cartridges and left nothing but blank shell. Then it could only be... Yes, Farrell's wife, of course. 
Hey, you! Get out! Tell the law by my team and watch, hey! Boss! Now, well, what's going on here? Glad you're back, Gary. We were worried about you. Yes, I imagine you were. But I didn't see any of you running after me. You told us not to. How come Farrell let you go? Well, how could he help it? He thinks he's saving the jungle, but he's wrong. I'll show him who's running this island. I'll hunt him down if it's the last thing I do. We thought he wiped you out. But Arnold here... Uh, but wouldn't it be better to find out how Farrell's wife managed to remove the bullets that would have killed him? Well, how do you know so much? Perhaps you helped her. Me help save a crook's life? <laughs> Hardly. I'm only interested in getting away from this place with a whole skin. Why, just before you Shut came up. in... You can save your skin by going to your room and staying there. All right. Hey, it's lucky you came back, Shut John. Up. Get Farrell's wife and bring her to my office. Yeah, but I want to tell you about... I don't want to hear. Do as I say. All right. You should have listened. The he wanted to tell you about... You sent for me, Mr. Garricky? Yes, come into my office. Oh, but boss, listen Later. to me, will you? So he took my advice after all. You're taking a lot of interest in things for an innocent bystander. Not half as much as I'm going to take from now on. Well, lay off of me, mister. I don't make friends easy. It will be very hard to arouse my people against this stranger. They are peace-loving people. But this man Farrell is a menace to all of us. Because of the great war, he means to kill us, to take our island over. He must be hunted down. Very well. I will gather my men, convince them to do as you say, to save our homes. Good. Get all the guns you need from the storeroom. Oh, an Indian. Uh, 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 uh. We must gather every man we can to hunt down the white man who means to steal our homes and kill us all. It's him uh, 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 uh. Well, Nick must be getting soft letting you go. Didn't he even slap your wrist? The bullets intended for your husband were removed from the guns. Of course, you couldn't have been the guilty one because you hate him. Never mind the sarcasm. Of course I did it, and I'd do it again. He means nothing to me. As a husband, he's a washout. But I'm against cold-blooded murder any time. And when the natives bring him in, you're going to be a very attractive widow. Oh, so it's him they're going to hunt down. Well, goodbye, brother. When Nick gets onto this, he'll come back and pin all your ears to the wall and take over in earnest. Oh, boy, what a laugh. Get her out of here! Glad of day and night, we'll see who has the last laugh. Oh, I already know the answer to that. <laughs> Get her out of here! Wait a minute. You better get busy on the king of the island. He's bringing death to all of you. Arnold's a better bet. Think it over, Saps. Come on, come on. What does she know that we don't? We better ask the boss. That's just what I'm going to do. Boss, that woman's I here. heard what she said. Shut the door and I'll give you the setup. I don't think your idea is so hot. Farrell hasn't done anything to those natives. Yeah. And if they catch him, he'll tell them so. Well, I'll fix it so they'll never bring him in. They'll kill him on sight. Watch out, Garrity. Farrell's plenty tough. Well, so am I. Roll out that old flying crate of yours. Find the natives and give them a taste of war. I'll tell them Farrell did it. And they'll fall for it, too. Well, boys, here goes a one-man war. Come on, Crip. Give me a hand to load those bombs, will you? Here in. Right. Why? 
Well, the natives are beating the jungle for you now. Well, this is the last place they look for me. But you haven't heard the worst. He sent Rankin up in a plane to bomb the poor natives. He'll throw the blame on you and they'll kill you on sight. That's bad. I've got to stop Rankin some way. It's too late now. The next best bet is to get Garrity. I'll make him bring that plane out of the air somehow or other. But there's a guard at the door. Get him in here. I'll take care of him. Hey, open up. I want to talk to you. Yeah, well, what do you want? I'm lonesome. Can't you guard me in here as well as out there? Come on, talk to me, or I'll go nuts. Sure thing, sister. I'll tell you some stories of adventure. Get it gun, Keg. Meet me outside. I've got to stop this slaughter. Rankin's evidently doing all right. Bomb guard the front. But what about the plate? Well, you'll get your share when we start printing from them. Get going. Guarding. You're coming with me again, but this time you're not coming back. I wouldn't do it. I'd love to drill you, but I need you too much. I'm the law. We'll find that out as soon as I tell the natives that you had them bombed. Well, they won't believe you. They'll think that... Yeah, they'll think that I did it. But they won't just sap when they see you with me while they're being bombed. You're gonna signal that murderer out of the air. Now get going. Get going. Get in there fast. Merrill's trying to get the plates. repair the radio and contact the Coast Guard cutter. Arnold is the leader. I heard him admit it. I've known that for some time, but don't worry. He won't get away. Looks like the chase is on in earnest. Are you all right, Kay? I'm fine now. But he flies like a bird. We cannot reach it. He's got to land sometime. Hurry, gather your men. 
shooting at us. He's after Farrell. You understand? Yeah, yeah. We've got to hunt him down. Uh, come, come on. on. Come on. We've got him. Come on. No, no. That's the powder house. He will blast us. Then get behind these trees and keep shooting. That'll keep him in there. Well, this is a lucky break. We can hold out here for days. Here. Throw this and hand it to me, but keep under cover. too late? Will the mutineers take over? And what about Rankin? Will the Secret Service be able to escape his treachery? See what happens in a fire afloat. Next thrill pack chapter of Hold of the Secret Service. cracks down on crime. Success is near, yet danger lies ahead for the government men. Will Jack Holt be alive to share the fruits of victory? He's about to capture the leader of a counterfeit gang, but crooked Capas Island officials incite the natives against him. That was meant for us. We gotta get out of here. But how? I don't know. I'm gonna try to break down that back wall and hope they don't see us. Stay under cover. Think he can make that? Well, that's the finished referral, all right. 
And Garrity will do us good for this one. <laughs> Come on. I think that bomb got us. Here, take these plates and get to the boat. I'm going to stay and finish the job. You mean you're going back? Yes, and see Arnold. If I can get him, it means that we've rounded up the whole counterfeiting gang. Have we enough proof to make his conviction certain? No, but if I can trick him into playing along with me and get him to talk, he'll convict himself. Now get going. Good luck. You win. Good luck to you. We're going to need it. a joke. You had Farrell and his wife killed, didn't you? Well, I'm the law here. What's wrong with that? When you destroyed Farrell, you also destroyed the counterfeit plates, the only valuable thing on the blasted island. <laughs> Rankin! Rankin! You idiot. When you destroyed Farrell, you blew up the plates as well. Well, how did I know? I couldn't stop the plane and search him. Besides, I was only carrying out your orders. Oh, I'll be the laughing stock of the island. Why, even that nitwit Arnold laughed at me. Hold it, Governor. He isn't any nitwit. When Farrell had you, Arnold tried to take over the gang, backed up by a gun. What? Why, yeah. He's the boss of that boat outfit. Why didn't somebody tell me this before? Uh, I'll fix that Arnold's ideas fast. <laughs> I tell you, Quist, we can't keep these men locked up in the hold forever. We're keeping them there until Arnold gives the orders to release them. Oh, Quist! Yeah? Nick's wife is signaling from shore. Let's see what she wants. It's her, all right. Man a boat and bring her aboard. Hold it, Captain. Don't try to get away! You already said nobody's leaving this island. Take another look, Quest. You're coming back to the trading what post with me. What fun I am. Come on. Look, that man forced her to go with him. Yeah. What do you make of it, Quest? Well, there's only one answer. She has the plates and was trying to make a getaway. Think we ought to go ashore? I should say not. Only our guns keep those mutineers in check. All right, Slug, hurry up down here. You hear anything? Not enough to learn anything. They were arguing about going ashore. Are they going? No. Well, we ain't going to wait around here much longer. I'm going to get some fresh air if I get killed doing it. That goes for me, too. So, your fine little plot failed, Mr. Arnold. Like a bad penny, I come back to spoil your plans to take over my domain. Your domain? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Only the war has let you get by. The rail law's on the other side of the island. Your knowledge will do you no good. Big shot, I'm keeping you prisoner until I'm paid plenty for the trouble you caused here. Wait till I get my men ashore. It'll be a different story. Uh, we'll see about that. Lock him in his room. Beat it. I'll call you when I need you. Yes, sir. such a good shot, we wouldn't be in this mess now. <laughs>
thought you were killed. So did the other monkey. I'll take care of them later on. Right now, I'm getting you out of here. Your number's up. Yes, they threatened me for no reason at all. I know. I heard you quarrel with Garrity. You heard what? Enough to know that you're the boss. I've been dealing with the wrong one. Now, come clean, Arnold. Why, I, uh... All right, I've got the plates. I can manufacture my own bankroll. I don't need you. No. Wait. You win, Farrell. I'm the boss. They all work for me. Get me away from here and you're in with me 50-50. You have the plates. We'll beat it to the other side of the island, catch a mail boat. Let Garrity's men handle the men on my boat. That might have been a good idea. But it can't be done now. Because the plates are on the boat with my wife, and there's where we're headed. Come on, out the window fast. They'll hunt us down and kill us. They'll have to catch us first. This time they've got no plane. I've taken care of that. Hankin, load up that plane and take off. And if you fail to get them, don't come back. And No. I'm fed up. I'm not going to do any more of your dirty work. No more mass murder for me. Hank, it's up to you. But I... On your way. Get in that plane and take off. You send for me, Mr. Garrity? Yes, more trouble. Play inside. Lava, you must hunt them down and kill them both. Understand? Kill them both. You understand. Sir! Somebody put the plane out of commission. The engine's wrecked. That's Reagan's work. Go gather your men. Yeah. You find Rankin and lock him up. I want to take care of him myself. Right. The lava. I must speak to you. You mustn't send your people out on this manhunt again. But, Mr. Garrett, the order. That murderer, I'll tell you the truth. It wasn't White Man Farrell that bombs your people. It was Garrity's man at his orders. He means to kill more of you. What? What can I do? He's the law here. Get the real law on the other side of the island. Now hurry, unless you want all your people wiped out. I'll go with you. Well? It's no use, boss. Rankin's disappeared into thin air. Did you search the village? Yeah, he's not there. Mr. Quist? Mr. Arnold and Farrell are signaling from the shore. They want to come aboard. Great. That means they have the plates. Get a boat ashore and pick them up. Help them, Davis. I thought you had deserted us. I meant to, but this roughneck had other ideas. When I caught her, she was trying to signal the boat. Good work, Crimp. Farrell will be pleased to know that she's safe here with us. Don't flatter me. Nick was the reason I left. Don't worry. He won't see you again. Lock her up and stay outside the door. Come on. You, get on the window and don't leave it for a minute. Well, the setup is perfect with her here. Farrell is sure to come back and we'll have a wonderful homecoming. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's good to be aboard again. Well, why the frozen pans? Neither one of you said it worked since we landed. Mr. Quist will explain. He's in his cabin. Oh, Quist, eh? Come on, Arnold. Let's take away his authority. Hello, Farrell. What are you doing on board? Did you have to bring that unwelcome guest with you? 
Get out of the chair and let the real boss sit down. Put him wise, Arnold. He's in the no quest. We've reached an understanding. Get out of there. I need a cigar. I'm dying. Well, I'm sorry about this, Farrell. Okay, okay. Then I take it you have the plates. You guessed it. Bring my wife in here and I'll give you a look at her. Your wife? She's not on board. Not on board? She's double-crossed you, Farrell. You were a fool to let her have the plates. She'd never double-cross me. You know I'd wring her neck. Something else has happened. He's right, boss. She signaled from the shore, but Krimp took her back in the jungle. Krimp! Well, that means that Garrity's got the plates by now. What then? The only thing we can do is wait till it's dark. Then we'll go ashore and take care of Krimp and Garrity, too. I'll tell the captain. Everything all right? Why you ask me? You were listening, weren't you? Go in and ask the boss. What's coming off, boss? Farrell knows everything. Ah, uh, not everything. Lock that door. Why the long face, Captain? Mm -hmm. Say, Farrell, are we getting out of here soon? Not for some time. Why? Because we're sitting on a keg of powder. We can't keep those men locked up in the hole much longer. Ah, oh, cut out the whining. You went into this thing with your eyes open, and now you can't take it. You're right, I can't take it. I joined this ship on the level. When I found out the real lowdown, well, I was too far in to do anything about it. I'm fed up. I'm going to throw in with those men in the hole and take this ship back to the USA. Now you can go and tell the boss. Wait a minute. Maybe you and I can talk business. I'm getting fed up, too. If you're on the level, give me the key to that radio room. Well, the radio is out of commission. I can fix it. Yeah. And keep your eyes on those bozos. But you're taking a chance of being marooned on the island. And the captain wouldn't stand for it either. We know where the plates are. Could we help it if there's an accident? As for the captain, he needn't know anything about it. Yeah, but Farrell, he'll never let us go ashore without him. It's your job to see that he's unable to ask to go. Calling United States Coast Guard Patrol. Come in, please. Who started the engines? nothing. That's the radio dynamo. Well, don't stand there. Go and stop whoever's trying to use it. Come in, Coast Guard. Coast Guard Station A-71, standing by. Come in with message. Good work, Coast Guard. This is SS Operator X-4 on gambling ship adventure in trouble. Need help. Relay this message to SS Headquarters. We'll follow instructions. Give location. Stand by, Coast Guard. Here comes location. We're anchored off the island of... another shindig. Now's our chance to get out of here. How are you going to do it? I'll show you how. Get to it, Davis. Do as I planned. Yeah, now we have to do it. He's a government man. Hurry, we'll get to the boat. All right, boss, she's open. Get up there and throw that hatch back. What about the crew? Forget them. They mustn't be allowed to shoot off their mouths. As soon as Davis comes, we'll get to the boat.
men are at last in control. But will Arnold interfere? Or perhaps Garrity and Arnold have joined forces. Will they be able to thwart Kay's last brave efforts? Secret Service breaks the counterfeit case. The mastermind is backed against the wall, yet he fights like a cornered tiger. Can Jack Holt finally vanquish society's greatest enemy? He learns the identity of the counterfeit leader, but is trapped in a fiery blaze. Now we're in for it! came from the ship, it couldn't be anything else. Dan, take a couple of men and check up and get back fast. Come on, boys. Uh, the job's perfect. Even if he gave the Coast Guard the exact location, they wouldn't find a trace. But they'll find the island. I'm scared to death. Suppose they do. They have no jurisdiction on land. We'll get the plates from Farrell's wife and get to the other side of the island. Yeah, but what about Garrity? We know where the plates are. He doesn't. He'll have to deal with me. Well, I hope you're right. What was that explosion? They think it's the boat. Oh! Maybe you're a widow after all. Oh, I've got to see Garrity! Well, no, you don't. Too late. I'm done for, Farrell. Thanks for trying. I don't like Rankin's not coming back. Suppose he's telling everything across the island at headquarters. Ah, they wouldn't believe him. The governor's secretary is in my pay. He'll handle Rankin all right. You think of everything. Yeah, I'll try to. It's from Holt, all right, but we're helpless. Why didn't he give the location first? He had to identify himself to make the Coast Guard take notice. Before he could finish, the radio went out of commission. The operator said it sounded like a fight to him. It looks bad. Arnold and two of his men are headed this way. Arnold! Wait a minute, Trimp. There'll be time enough for guns later. Sit down, relax. Get back and be ready to shoot if necessary. Oh, Garrity, surprised to see me, eh? I'm surprised at nothing. Got tired of Farrell's company, eh? 
Yes, when I found out he didn't have the plates, I gave him the air. Well, why return here? If I had him, I'd have shot you before you crossed that porch. I ought to do it anyway. That would be rather silly, considering I know where the plates are. Can we deal? I'll promise nothing until I hear your story. And it better be good, Arnold. Go into my office. You men watch one another. I'd love to be alone with you, you double-crosser. Don't start anything, Quist. I won't. I won't. And you'd better not. Hold it, Farrell. Fisky. Now, you're going back with me to see Mr. Garrity. He misses you. Well, isn't that funny? That's just where I was headed, but I wasn't quite sure of the direction. We'll keep you straight. Turn around. Well, that's nice of you, boys. Get going. Thank you. Hunt up Wachee and send her up to the girls' room. I may need her. But what about them? That's all right. We made a deal. What's coming off, boss? None, None of your business. business. Well, we seem to be uncertain as to whom he's working for. I never was sure. I will... Shut up. One thing I am sure of, I'm running this outfit. Any arguments? No, I said, all right. No one's disputing your authority. Come on, let's get on with our deal. Everything's okay, Quist, but keep your eye on that bird. Well, ain't this something? Cross and double cross? Healthy wealthy again. What's the setup? It's no use, sister. The jig's up. Farrell spilled the works to Arnold. We know you're federal agents. Hand over the plates. <laughs> oh, that's the best yet. That bird sells you a fairy tale and you fall for it. I haven't got them. We'll see. Watchy. Yes, Master. Search that woman. She has a package I want. So big. She has, I get. Scram. We'll wait in the hall. Any tricks? And I'll forget you're a lady. Get out of your clothes. All right, Mother. Start the treasure hunt. Those plates better show up. Your name is Mud if she hadn't got them. She has them, all right. Farrell wouldn't trust them to anyone else. I give you my word. Ah, uh, your word isn't worth a plug nickel. Watchy, how you coming in there? Me not find anything yet. No, and she won't find anything. You better grab that four-flusher Arnold before he bumps you off. Don't fall for her talk. That's her game to get us quarreling. She hasn't got the plates. Then they're hidden in the room somewhere. Get in there and find them. Hey, don't you ever knock. She don't got package, be sure. All right, get out. You're smart, but we're smarter. They're hidden in here somewhere, and I intend to find them. All right, wise guy. Help yourself. Start on the bed. They're sure having a session up there. It's dead. They're bringing in Farrell. Farrell, you're crazy. No, it can't be. I tell you, Farrell. Well, it looks like the woman is right. They're not here. You better think fast, Arnold. Then she hit him somewhere outside. We'll have to make her talk. He's lying, Garrity. That and the boys are bringing in Farrell. Is he wounded? Didn't look like it. Get down and help the others guard him. I'll be down as soon as I finish here. But I don't understand. I saw him die. Farrell can't be alive. Oh, this is good. Brace up, Arnold. Wait till Nick finishes with you for trying to bump him off. Well, he's going to face him right now. We'll get the low down. Snap into it, Arnold. Lock the door. Pretty nervous, eh? Well, Farrell should be dead. I... All right. Wow. Quite a gathering. Even my old friend, Crimp. Well, who are you double-crossing now? Got it, Farrell. Where's the boss? Don't make me face Farrell. He'll find some way to kill me, sure. Well, it would save me the trouble. Please, what you gain? Let me stay here you question him. Please. All right, go to your room. I'll send for you later. Bob, you come with me. Yes, boss. Well, Farrell, final 
assured me you were eliminated out of our hair. That's just another one of his mistakes. Did he tell you anything else? Yes, he said you were a federal agent. Your wife is your assistant. Down here to get the plates. What about it? He'd tell you anything to save his skin. Those plates are mine, and I mean to fight for them. Where are the plates now? <laughs> if you haven't got them, Arnold has. Get him down here. Wait a minute. I give the orders around here. What about your wife? She doesn't know a thing about him. Get on, I tell you. You protest too much. Either you or your wife knows where those plates are, and I'll find out. Time up. With all of you, Mob, you're still a scared, huh? Well, Ty and me just evens things up. Get his wife down here. Right. That's not the half of it, Governor. Unless you do something, the settlement will be wiped out. This man, Garrity, is kill crazy. I am convinced. I'm sending soldiers. Wait. That would be a terrible mistake, Your Excellency. It would make complications for our government. Mr. Garrity's concession gives him full powers. Speak when you're spoken to. I'm the governor, and I'm sending soldiers. How do you like that, Mr. Barinsky? I don't know anything, I tell you. Ah, uh, you're both lying. One of you know where the plates are, and one of you is going to tell me. Well, don't look at me. If I knew where they were, I'd have spilled it long ago. And if Nick had him, he wouldn't have come back. Use your brain, dumbbell. Arnold is your man. And what's your spiel? I'm dumber than you are, if that's possible. You're just wasting your time. You heard, men. You agree with me that he's lying? Sure. Yes. 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 All right, bring in the persuader. He'll talk. Hey, what are you going to do? Dry up, kid. He's just bluffing. Uh, you'll find out. Well, has anyone changed their mind? The world looks nice and rosy, doesn't it, Farrell? Everything's just dandy. Wouldn't be so nice if suddenly all was dark. You were blind, now would it? That's crude work, Garrity. Even a tough mug like you wouldn't go through with it. Quiet, Kay. Don't let him work on you. All right, you asked for it. Hold him. Wait, I'll tell! I thought that would get you. Don't tell, Kay, don't tell! All right, quick, produce. Tell him nothing, Kay. I still think he's bluffing. Promise you'll let him go if I turn over the plates? I'll promise nothing. Turn over the plates or he burns. Don't do it, Kay! I'll get them. We'll go with you. He ought to be in on this. Well, he double-crossed me twice. Now you can join him or throw in with me. May you snap him? Well, we'll throw in with you. There's nothing else we can do. I've always been with you, boss. You've been with everybody, you double-crosser. Get out of the way. Boys, for your loyalty, I'm going to let you have the fun of being Farrell's execution. Stand him up against the wall. Get up.
watch windows. Let no one get away. You didn't go first. They're waiting to pick us off as we jump out of the window. Jack, what are we going to do? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, but we can't stay here much longer. They're gone. Now's a chance. Follow me. Wait a minute, Dirty. You're not going anywhere. So you're the one that turned me in. Yeah. I'm paying you back for the time you hit me. But I could... Oh, shut up! And that ain't all. I'm taking those plates. All right. Take them. like the soldiers have about rounded up the gang. Jack, look. Go over and check up on them. See how many of the gang they've got. I'll take care of these fellas. But I, I did it in self-defense. You saw it all, Farrell. Yeah, I saw it. When crooks fall out, somebody usually gets hurt. But you've got a lot to answer for, yeah, but. I, I said for the soldiers, I'll, I'll, I'll turn state evidence. Uh, well, they'll probably listen to you, and maybe they'll let you off light. What do you think I'll get? Oh, they'll probably just give you life. Yeah, thanks. Life? Yes, you murderer. Get on out. Jack, the captain of the soldiers wants to talk to you. And I want to talk to him. The main thing is to find out when the next mail boat leaves. Okay, looks like our job's about finished. Well, Jack and Miss Drew, Department are so well pleased with your handling of the case, they're awarding you both 60 days leave of absence with full pay. We don't deserve a vacation. We were lucky. How about it, Kay? I'm the lucky one, working with a swell bunch like you. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, it's been nice knowing you. But leaving so soon? Yes, leaving the state. Leaving the state? Yes, the state of matrimony. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hey, what's the hurry, Jack? Your vacation can wait. Wait, case or nothing. I'm going back on the job. It's going to be a tough one. Oh, uh, what job, Jack? We can Kay change your mind. Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kay's in for it. Why? Because Holt of the Secret Service always gets his uh, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> 